Chapter 5 Double Low Quote The Shrines of Oblivion Double Low Quote Calm down you're going home I heard Alpha's divine and melodic voice in my ears, her voice like so thing tune of a well-refined flute echoed in everybody's minds, trying to calm our senses in these times of agony. Galamoth's well-designed trap required immense suffering or dark energy to sustain itself, drawing from ourselves. In order to become free from this pitfalls all energies needed to be released in an cataclystic event. Galamoth knew that and made sure the walls of that dimension were unbreakable, but Yahweh knew that, while this pain couldn't be avoided, its intensity shorted the event to minimum, having us burn with God's full force comma limited the time to a fraction of a second and despite the fact the pain was unbearable. Its effects would be the same as of a very bad nightmare comma and suddenly in a short, while I opened my eyes hearing the sounds of water and looked around dot 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 noticing that I set it on that fountain in Aura's room. Noticing, how the chaotic structure changed and seeing, how I smiled back to me. I was back in her room, in that strange skyscraper. Double low quote word back I replied and slowly stood up walking to the two girls. Sighting and breathing calmly I enjoyed each step I made. I was back home, in the material world I belonged to. Despite me not liking it comma this was the world I always belonged to, the floor at Galamoth's temple continued to shine, transporting magical energies into its surface. The air was cold, and breathing was a bit unpleasant. I felt my body moving and enjoyed the sensation that proved to me that I died and was reborn, like the legendary phoenix that is reborn from its ashes comma so were we all. In halfway between me and Era a light form started manifesting, taking on a more humanoid shape, materializing into a material form of that dark-haired man we meet earlier it was Sasset that came throughout the borders. As the young man was materializing a blue lighting came out from his hand, and turned into a sphere of blue hole, throughout which you assume me fallen out joining the main group, as I smiled meeting the man, that materialized double low quote I am so ready for this. He replied smiling with confidence, as he was finishing materializing. While I walked towards Yasumi double low quote are you alright? The blue sphere disappeared as soon as the girl was thrown out comma throat it point arrow looked confused he burned my dimension dot 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 oh my dot 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 my dimension become so messy. Come out Oswald. I need you as soon as possible Era call Oswald without summon he from a portal, because all of her spirits live in her dimension. Oswald come in the room yes, priestess. I waiting your command dot 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 I observed the situation and walked back to the fountain and sitting on it again double low quote it wasn't your dimension but Galamuth's and by the way I think I know what Galamuth is trying to do now I replied and looked at the girl, wondering whether I managed to her curious comma I wanted her to be curious to be able to brag about what I discovered point arrow looked at me what? Double low quote want me to tell you? Well okay comma Galamuth wants to destroy the Achillean, which is the borderline of the worlds and the intermediary between them. Achillean is God's frequency the original astral plane comma the other planes are created inside the Achillean using its fractions you might say that Achillean is heavens, hell and material combined into a one dot 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 each of these three use Achillean, as its base dot 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 let's use our visualization, has anybody of you used a computer network, or head cable television? Well the single cable carries a single energy signal which is a combination of multiple signals combined into a one signal, now our minds work as a router or decoder and choose which signals we receive, and basically limit our perceptions depending on our preference and the fragment of reality we perceive comma there are three states of reality, as we perceive them and these are the three planes dot dot heavens, hell and the material. Heavens is a reality of joy comma hell is reality of sorrow and material is the mixture of these two, the three of them combined form the borderline which is a Chilean dot 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 however, if we were to separate or confuse the streaming of data or information and create a chaotic dispersion of information, we would devastate these three worlds and cause a distortion in the creation dot 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 then everything would be disturbed and God would have to restart his creation, I doubt it's still possible thought. I do actually think God is the smartest one and Galamoth attempts are just ridiculous but he can still cause a lot of damage in lives of billions entities I answered and looked at Arrow smiling what do you mean? 
Aaron asked Sapri's double low quote while well, I am trying to explain our situation the best I can. Dot, 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 Galamuth wants to destroy the world, and while this ain't possible, in the aftermatch of his ambition billion of galaxies might be destroyed, these might be random planets or huge parts of this metropoli that are literally blown up into the skies, in a huge drain of energies to offset the damage the Mad Lord will cause, that's why we need to stop him. I replied looking at Aaron. Dot, I know that but it's my dimension not his dimension. I made it without his permission. Then tell me, why you think, if it's his dimension? Aaron replied, while I looked at her serious double low quote you really dense haven't you felt his power in the dimension dot dot maybe he used your design but changed the dimension to suit his needs dot 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 mm, thinking about it that's less time consuming than making a brand new one. He used your dimension to his needs altering it I explained looking at her. You shouldn't be surprised you know comma he is a dark lord after all dot 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 do you really thought he wouldn't notice you creating a dimension? I replied finishing replying to Aramis question dot so, you mean dot 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 he used my dimension? Damn. It's my home. How can he lay a hand in my home, said Aramis angry, while I smirked double low quote he wants to destroy entire existence, do you think he would leave your home alone? You're just his pawns that's all I replied and noticed that Aaron was getting seriously mad about this dot pawn what the hell. I must make new dimension. Aaron replied making me smile, as I walked towards her double low quote listen we need to defeat him or there won't be new dimensions I answered her and continued gazing straightly into her eyes dot I don't have clue to defeat him. I must collect soul to make new spirits but it's have time Aaron answered me, while I took note of that and said it calmly double low quote fine we can start by that dot 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 we also need to figure out how to get to Balamuth dot 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 he won't make it easier for us now will he I replied looking at the location we found ourselves into, this complex structure built inside a remnant of an futuristic enormous comma skyscraper like complex. It was the size of at least 12 planets and God knew only what surprises were stored for us inside comma this gigantic maze. Okay. Then I'll go to some forest now Era replied making me wonder what did she mean by it double low quote forest what forest? This place has a forest? I asked surprised, wondering what kind of forest was she talking about point it wasn't uncommon for these kind of structures to house greenhouses in them, after all they needed these kind of places to feed all Thayer workers that worked for Thayer corporational structures, now however this place was abandoned. I didn't know what could cause that kind of devastation, thought I knew it could have been greed dot I have. I cannot live without forest era replied smiling double low quote and can you lead to it? I asked hoping that we might find some clues as to Galamuth's whereabouts. Aram was his subordinate I was hoping she would lead us straight to him, but I knew that the journey itself would be very difficult, we were in the middle of a very difficult situation. Sure. But be careful she smiled mysteriously, while we got ready to move out to that forest of hers. Point Aram lead us towards a dark and unbelievably beautiful forest, that was actually located next to Aram's room just around the corner, as we walked by the fountain, and into a dark hallway, made of a golden and silver material. It took us few steps and there it was a huge forest, located inside an enormous greenhouse, its magnificence would be hard to describe, but I will still attempt that comma many trees were gathered by this once proud commercial community, all coming from distant places and exotic planets some I visited others I knew nothing about welcome to Wonderland. You can find some unbelievable creature in here. Feel free to come in. But be careful. They watching you era advised us, as we were walking more deeper into this unknown territory. I could see eyes watching us from the bushes, and made sure that all of our members didn't lose themselves. Keep silent Aya. You can wake up the fairies. And watch your step. Don't stepping on them okay? Oh yeah. This is fairy territory. Which territory you all want to visit? Era asked comma finishing reprimanding her little sister, while I noticed the brown ground and tried walking carefully, observing how some apes moved fraught branches, following Aya and obviously trying to play with her comma teasing the young girl. The brown apes were making happy noises inviting the little girl to play with them. Double low quote which place did Galamuth visit the most? I asked Era. Hoping he would leave some clues as to his whereabouts point meanwhile Yasumi has been quiet for the whole time, walking slowly, and looked scared, I walked back to her and started questioning what was worrying this red kimono wearing girl double low quote hey don't you get lost now okay? 
I told her hoping she would start moving faster. But she started behaving weirdly first she backed away, when she realized I was talking to her. She looked scared, and uncertain. As if she was a completely different person, this of course worried me. Double low quote what's wrong Yasumi? I asked her, surprised by the girl's sudden behavior. Double low quote W who are you and where am I? She hesitantly replied, looking scared and confused, her eyes looked bothered, as if she had no memory of who we are. I stopped a while and looked at her then my eyes shine red and I used my powers to gaze into her thoughts, making my usual demonic face to distract her and compel her to gaze into my eyes comma by means of mind control dot 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 I released her, when my eyes returned to normal double low quote that was to be expected she is the servant of the goddess that rules over the system, her memories are sailed, listen to me Claselli Yasumi, you must follow us or you die, got that? I replied looking at the girl, a bit disquisted by the fact the girl was useless to me, but then again it was to be expected. I should expected that kind of tactic from the whores of the system, I observed the strange looking trees, as we passed them and noticed colorful stars above us, these were lamps that were embedded in the ceiling comma billion kilometers above us. This structure was large, we felt, as if we were walking inside a jungle on the planet, this ecological research center was used to grow vegetables and raise animals that were used in many things. But natural food was mostly reserved for the elites, despite the fact that the jungle could provide it for the entire population of this commercial conglomerate comma but instead all of the resources were used to satisfy the greed of the system horse, who ruled over this community as elites and the commercial establishment. The greedy horse used the workers, as slaves come and by product of fire wealth for them, these workers were merely something to be used or even sold, if the price was right. This was just one of these things that made me mad. Die? W where am I? Tell me. Yasumi asked, while her eyes were tearful. Looking at her, as she was about to cry made me sigh and I tried to appear more friendly. Double low quote well where were you, before you found yourself in this scary place, and don't worry we shall protect you, we're here to protect you, I answered and smiled gently hoping that with that the girl will feel a bit more secure. Get me back home. Yasumi cried out, as her tears were already flowing. Please. This is just supposed to be a dream. Just like I always get. You were part of that nightmare I had. She was talking about the war in the spiritual realm. I hugged her tightly and patted her hair double low quote I am sorry but this is real, it's not just a nightmare, I patted her hair warmly, Yasumi, if you won't help us, this nightmare will spread at others in your life, many people will die sacrificed because of that fool's hatred I looked at her and smiled double low quote, if you're too afraid jump on my back he'll carry, you will be safe I promise I smiled, while the dark shadows descended into the ground forming, a well known to me personage of a little girl dressed in a white Victorian dress double low quote she'll be, safe you can promise that? My my how fragile these flesh based organism are mystica expressed giggling and lawing double low quote how weak very weak like a rotting doll she continued singing, Yasumi just looked up to me, and she relaxed a little. I know all of you. I've seen you in my dreams, Mystica rushed to her dancing around in insane dance obviously enjoying the attention double low quote rotting corpse dot 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 rotting corpse dot 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 rotting corpse you die here since joyously trying to scare Yasumi away, as I pushed her around double low quote go bother someone else. She won't die Mystica I replied, as Mystica rushed forward singing madly. Double low quote don't mind her she's just a demon first time in physical manifestation dot 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 but why did she manifest as a little girl dot 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 oh I see it was because of that fight back then dot 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 Sasuk you're an angel keep her at bay okay dot 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 but don't harm. Mystic is our ally, besides, since she failed her job, I doubt she will be able to return back there. Dot 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 will try to work on her, she might been born out of darkness but she's still a being and God's creation will just change her design and who knows I looked at Mystic smiling, not knowing but having a hunch that she might be someone very close to me someday. Double low quote she might be billion of years old, 
as spiritual entity but she still a kid a child cat lived her life in a very terrible prison dot 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 because of Dalamuth's escape she too received a chance to evolve I replied smiling and waiting for Yasumi to jump back on me point I continued observing Mystica while she was at her annex and I realized the reason why she chose this form to manifest double low quote I remember that that's a girl whose memory casted a shadow in my heart dot 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 a very long time ago of course the darkness that minded Dalam of this intelligent force manifested in the form of my most repressed memory dot 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 man this is so ridiculous how can a person who never done anything wrong to me hurt me so badly What's the deal with this? All I remember, that this Ania girl never made fun of me, she was a brilliant student dot 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 and an energetic personality a simple-minded girl. Nothing special and yet my dark obsessions over her always caused me trauma t-s-c-h well it's my fault for being a coward comma now that's pitying myself dot 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 well at least Dalamuth had the guts to tell Emilia what he felt to her despite being lauded at. I am just a weak pathetic fool and this is the exact reason I should just simply leave her existence alone, it's wrong to destroy people's happiness over an obsession dot 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 but I had to carry her image in my heart even thought I didn't have the right to comma damn it I screamed out angered at my own weakness in trying to forget her, why was this girl so special, what made me to desire her, yet still not loving her. This strange adoration and finding someone else superior to me, was I simply jealous of her being, so easy going. If so was I the cause of her suffering, that day, when she cried on the stairs, my silence in witnessing and my refusal in paying back for her kindness. Maybe that was it, maybe I just wanted to be there for her and say, don't worry everything will be fine there's no need to cry over it. But I couldn't I didn't know what to do and how to act in that moment of my youth, paralyzed by emotions, not fear common not joy. And known to me, why did I care over her sadness, when it wasn't my sadness, why did I get moved by Ania's tears, when these weren't my tears. It's not like I was anyone important to her, would my words heal her soul. Not possessing any powers limited to a fragile human existence. Why couldn't I accept my own limitations and just stay put, I stayed put that was logical but I never accepted that limitation. Yet I stayed put not accepting thinking it was wrong, but what could I do being weak dot 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 what could I offer having nothing. Humans desire wealth, extroverts are like that I had nothing of that sorts. I wouldn't take her to a movie or anywhere else, in fact I didn't even like that class I hated the people and the society I used to live in, as a human dot 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 and yet she was special. Different and yet not different and I couldn't change that dot 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 oh, it would be better, if she just mocked me back than hurting like the others did, but she did not do such things. She chose to be my savior comma and yet she never got her gratitude, and that made her my obsession that lead me to my own dark hearth. Demon. Angel. Spiritual realm. Dalamuth. Yasumi asked these questions waking me up from my thoughts double low quote well it's a bit complicated you'll understand everything in time I replied smiling back dot her eyes darkened all of a sudden. And she said oh lady. Matrimona. She covered her mouth with surprise dot w dash what did I just say? I I'm getting so confused. An image of a woman was there. And then was gone. Yasumi screamed out, while I waited until, she jumped on my back point Arrow stared at Yasumi you have a nice soul on you body dot 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 can I have it Arrow smiled and her eyes glowed. She came near to Yasumi I want your soul she smiled evilly. Sis. I am shouting and kicking Arrow until she fall. I continue kicking Arrow go out from my sis body, evil monster go soft hyphen. I lauded enjoying the situation, meanwhile Mystica was running around dot ouch ouch. Aya. Why you kick me? Aya shouted to Aya. Aya grinned happy she then quickly hugged Aya very happy that she she draw off the monster from her. I continued looking at the girls and smiled back at Yasumi double low quote you see there's no reason to be afraid when being with us I replied observing the beautiful floor of this dark forest. There was a small wind that rushed throughout the trees moving the branches, as the colorful leaves fall into the ground comma we walked throughout a brown classical wooden bridge that was hung over a small artificial creek, in which blue transparent water was flowing. Coming out from an unknown source making so things sounds, it was a wild and dark paradise. Oh yet lays, I don't know which place he always come. But I think he in that territory. 
illusion territory area replied and looked at me comma meanwhile missa got worried and walked over to me grabbing my head please stop fighting missa said very worried and looking into the distance comma she didn't even remember the time she was controlled by galamuth dot what's that yasumi asked joining the conversation starting to relax a little even though she didn't know these people comma that suddenly kidnapped her literary taking out of her reality dot she only remembered as a blue sphere appeared and engulfed her suddenly making her confused as she materialized into a completely unfamiliar territory she continued her conversation relaxing a bit as era replied illusion territory I made some territories in this forest area answered Yasumi questions, as we made our way throughout the bridge and into the forest on the other side, birds welcomed our party flowing down from the trees, making noises signaling our advance into the unknown. And dash no that's not what I meant. Yasumi stuttered, not sure how to explain her question. I mean, what are territories? Yasumi was probably trying to figure out the location we were in, but she didn't even knew the date. All I knew was that she could be from any given moment in world's history. Thus it wasn't as that easy for her to return home. The world we were in now comma was the distant future. Where the material combined with the spiritual creating an entire new universe spawning civilization the new Zion or mega civilization. The golden city of God, where God could finally coexist with its people. This was the world we were in now. Point. Meanwhile Yasumi's own home was distant years ago. She would however return to her land once our journey and dot actually I combined many forest and made it become one. Well, if you remember we already passed the fairy territory. It means you can find fairies in there. Now oh, maybe it's the right answer for your question Era replied smiling. She was the designer of this structure, the one that remade the forest. To suit Galamuth's maddening ambition and for the sake of his entertainment. Combine forests. Dot, dot, dot. Yasumi asked. How do you do that? She continued with her questions, hoping she would get these answers. The reason for these questions was, however, unknown to me, and I mostly ignored it anyways, observing the trees. Take it from the real world and combine it with magic. Era replied to her question, as a very beautiful and huge yellow parrot flew over us. It looked gigantic in the size of a vulture, and I was a bit afraid that it could attack us. There's such thing as magic. Yasumi looked surprised. Point Era looked confused. Yet, yeah, she replied a bit hesitantly. What's your name? Yasumi asked. While the bird flew away. Not noticing us. Yellow feathers fall into the ground making a wonderful scene. Era. You can call me Era Era replied smiling double low quote that's a hell of a bird I replied commenting about the parrot and playing with the yellow feather I picked up while it fallen down noticing how soft it was. Fascinated by the strange colorful patterns on the feathers I was literary mesmerized. I told you before you can find an believable creature in this forest Era smiling. I smiled back double low quote while I expressed. That was the only thing I could express dot that parrot was big. The biggest I've ever seen. Yasumi smiled dot but oh. What time is it? She asked the question. Sasak looked around in amazement, while Yasumi took notice of the angel dot who is he? She asked, pointing at Seltzer. While Mystica walked back, looking at Sasak. Noticing him finally and analyzing his spiritual powers double low quote a weak angel Mystica replied comma looking annoyed. Mystica wasn't pleased by the fact we had a true angel accompany us, the opposing forces brought together into a single team. Of course the whole situation only frustrated our little Yasumi you guys aren't answering my questions at all dot dot dot. She sighed. Double low quote, because we don't care about you back a Mystica replied trying her best to frustrate Yasumi more. While Sasset moved forward, scaring Mystica off. As she went few steps ahead, avoiding the angel finding his presence unbearable for herself. Sasak smiled towards Yasumi, as he replied to her question. Double low quote well I will say I am an angel known, as Sasak Seltzer nice to meet to Sasak replied happily, smiling very innocently, as Mystica was making funny faces at him, showing her tongue and visually announcing that she didn't like him. Which made the situation all the more hilarious in reality. Have we met before? You're very familiar. Yasumi said asking. While the man glanced back at her and replied double low quote maybe Yasumi Sasak replied smiling at Yasumi who of course found it surprising that her name was already known to that male. Double low quote h how did you know my name? She asked, surprised. 
scoffed by this sudden revelation, and confused not remembering that she met him during that fight in the spiritual realm. Now Yasumi was just a normal girl that couldn't know less about this whole crazy situation. Double O quote maybe, because I am an angel Sasak replied, spiking the girl's curiosity. Making her think the guy was crazy, despite the fact she witnessed what me and Mystica, as well as Era and the rest are capable of. But Sasak wasn't afraid of showing off, after all he was among friends. He proved it. Yasumi protested, and also trying to dare the angel into proving his words. Sasuke took off his Hawaiian shirt, showing off his light brown body and his well-proportioned chest. Suddenly his shoulders moved, comma, creating a lump of flesh that grew, popping and revealed tiny white wings with majestically white weathers, growing on the young angel's back, comma, taking the higher place and waving proudly, as they become huge in a matter of few seconds. Double O quote O crime I river is that the best your kind can do. Mystica shouted and walked near me, keeping a safe distance from the heavenly being. Sasuke picked up his shirt and walked towards the scop now Yasumi dot she jumped back in surprise dot why dad you gotta be kidding me, she complimented the spectacle, while still scoped. Suddenly on yellow angel halo appeared over Sasuke's head double low quote guess not dot 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 my dear Sasuke replied commenting, while Mystic turned towards me commenting double low quote I think I am going to puke now she admitted and grabbed my arms comma looking straightly into my eyes double low quote blaze make him go away please dot 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 he'll ruin anything she cried out comma grabbing me and pulling me down childishly double low quote oh really wasn't I unnecessary last time I replied logging and patted Mystic's hair. Meanwhile Era looked at Sasuke with admiration oh my dot 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 I jealous dot 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 I want born, as an angel Era replied looking at the angel so enviously, comma, while Mystica looked at her angrily. I think you're pretty cool to create a forest. Yasumi replied smiling at Era point Mystica looked annoyed and of course decided to add her own, two cents into the conversation double low quote you know dot 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 there's really nothing too amazing about a field full of trees, they grow everywhere don't they? She asked commenting, not knowing how reality on this side worked. Making me citing double low quote you know, these trees don't grow everywhere, especially not in space, it really does take a lot of effort to gather the seeds and create an appropriate environment in an artificial one, this ain't a planet but a metropoli like complex in space dot 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 everything around us was man made and is controlled by complex spells and science it's an astonishing feat of molecular, in Ginnery I answered explaining our situation a bit. Sasuke smiled at my words, while Yasumi looked confused again um. Hey. How did I get here dot dot dot? Yasumi asked, visibly confused. Era on the other hand was bothered by something else hmm dot 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 maybe dot 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 but how can I live peacefully, if Dalamuth never let me go and lay his hand on my precious things? Era looks at Yasumi you always with us answering her question, as her words made me think about this whole situation a bit. While she continued asking. Always? Be but I don't understand. I'm just an average person, her eyes shone surprise, confused more and more about this uncommon situation. Point Era smiled why you surprise, Yasumi, she asked teasing Yasumi, enjoying the girl's confusion comma sharing this trait with her master. I don't know you guys. I haven't met you before. Yasumi replied, while really not remembering anything about the spiritual realm, about that crazy battle in a Chilean and about being Matrimona's servant, the girl was in denial, no. You didn't remember. I know. So it's okay. We're not bad guys era comforted Yasumi creating a bound of friendship with her double low quote speak for yourself I am evil and kill you all. Mystica shouted growling childishly, trying to scare us and demonstrate her terrible powers but instead making us lock. I am not scared anymore. I feel calm with you guys around. Yasumi answered logging from Mystica's attempts at frightening her. While Mystica got in a bit serious, as we walked near a field. Yeah dot 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 good, Arrow smiled, as she led us through a forest pathway, a typical forest road that a shallow divided the forest into two or more smaller ones. Weren't we on a building a while ago? Yasumi asked surprise how natural this place, indeed when walking in this forest one could think we traveled outside, while in reality it was a clever designed illusion, created by complex machinery that initiated the outdoor environment, one could feel the smell of fresh mushrooms and berries growing on the bushes, just as, if we were walking in a real forest on a planet. 
the only thing that was off and reminded us of the fact we were inside a gigantic structure was the odd, silver golden dark sky that didn't have a single cloud moving on them, yet the environment was spectacular as we neared to a stone altar, and an ancient like temple ruins, constructed comma by well-designed Greek pillars. Double low quote is this Galamuth's magical center which he used to conduct his occultic experiments. I asked looking at Era. Too bad. I can't see the sky, Yasumi complained making Mystica curious, as she never saw one also double low quote what's the sky, she asked Yasumi, hoping to get an answer, as she continued teasing the angel dot you don't know the sky? But weren't we outside just a moment ago? Yasumi asked, shocked to hear the question dot the sky is where the sun, stars, and the moon show dot you can also see the birds soaring on it, as if they were born there. Yasumi explained, while Mystica looked at her smirking double low quote What are you talking about flashling what is a sun and what is born mean? Mystica asked giggling, smirking, as her eyes shine in red double low quote What nonsense are you spouting about dot 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 the birds born from the sun my birds are from my own will, they are a part of me and I am a part of them dot 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 there is no sky, no sun no born in that place Mystica replied point Yasumi happily told Mystica what is was. As the demon girl looked at her comma not knowing of these things, Mystica was born, as a spirit in the place that was full of darkness, without any emotions, designed to be a single function that locked Galamuth down. Mystica was just one of these candle-like flames comma that were blown out by Dantalian's prayer 75 years ago. At that time she had no visible form instead being like an algorithm that's only function was to contain Lord's Galamuth spirit, in the spiritual prison of his own design. That was Mystica and she remembered, that pain brought by Dantalian opening the gates to a Chilean that imprisoned the Mad Lord. Because of this suffering and her own spiritual programming comma Mystica's sole purpose was to get revenge on the Mad Lord point of course that made her combine with the Mad Lord's own darkness, first taking the form of the shadow birds he used in his attacks dot dot the Ragnarok birds, before taking Amia's form that was inscribed in the shadows of my own soul point naturally this was the reason for her hostile and awkward behavior dot oh, then one day I'll show it to you. Yasumi laughed innocently. Smiling to her, as Mystica wanted to appear fearsome and hostile double low quote don't be too proud of yourself flashling. Mystica shouted, wanting to prove her power to her point Sasset continued observing them silently, he being in the same position as Mystica, perhaps understand her the best. Yasumi noticed that Sasset was looking at them. Is there something you were going to say, she asked the angel, while I looked at them smiling and still waited for Era to give me that answer. While the situation continued. Double low quote nothing nothing at all Sasak replied blushing a bit double low quote oh isn't Sasak a cutie now dot 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 but he's still a guy I commented remembering that there wouldn't be anything happening of that kind and then started thinking about something, feeling that I forgot something important dot and you miss Mystica? That's your name, right? Yasumi suddenly thought. While Mystica nodded and smirked double low quote yes this is the name of this form I am Mystica she replied and looked at Yasumi, wondering, why she asked her such a trivial question. I'm not being full of myself. I just wanted to share you the things that I know and experience. Yasumi said thoughtfully dot I'm curious about all of you as well. Because you're all familiar yet, a stranger to me. Have we met in another life? Maybe. Yasumi asked this question, while I looked at her and knitted double low quote yes we did I admitted. Mystica looked at her and straightly into her eyes double low quote give me that experience human she replied pleading with Yasumi dot w dash what? Hey. I was just kidding with the other life thing. Yasumi screamed at me, longing point then she looked at Mystica dot then come with me later, Miss Mystica. She smiled. As I was looking at the magical symbols that were embedded in the ground, and ancient scriptures inscribed on the rocks. Especially one drawn my attention the symbol of a walking girl, I remembered I knew it from somewhere. There was a little girl I meet once, after she died in the spiritual realm. This was back, when I was a human, and this strange drawing reminded me of her. This little girl was also named Emilia, or at least I identified her as such. 
the child died in mysterious circumstances. But I believe that for another story, this drawing might have been done by her at some point in time, comma, prior to our arrival in this building. Point. I knew, however, that this familiar was guarded by Fritz Lang or at least someone I identified as him, as I could only hear a German. Point. Actually, I needed her in that realm, but as I told you, it's a story for a different time. I only written about her, to show that she's also someone I remembered and that she wasn't forgotten. Point. Perhaps she made this drawing on that rock to leave me a sign point that she was doing fine point in whatever form or as whom she was reborn to. There were many inscriptions and I started wondering whether this was a cementary comma we were standing on double low quote what is this place area? I asked area, a bit troubled. By my recent finding dot by the way. Blaze are you sure to come in illusion territory? Once you came to that territory you will find yourself have illusion attack you. You will have dream. Bad or good but you cannot judge me, if you cannot come out from that illusion. Era warned me, as I sit it near the rocks double low quote I am not afraid dot 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 I am always ready to test myself dot 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 no matter how long the trials take I admitted speaking confidently dot okay then. But I'm not sure with everyone. I'm okay with illusion, because I can manipulate it era explained, while I looked back at her standing from kneeling near the stones. Double low quote I shouldn't have troubles with it as well traveling through weird places and Ichilian is every day for me, I already gotten used to it, as I said time isn't important, even if the illusion lasted billion of years the experience can only make me stronger I admitted, not knowing what I would get myself into double low quote just what am I looking for once I am there? I replied back finishing my response. Double low quote but tell me about this place. I asked pointing at the stones that were formed in the circle, twelve of them all gray with different inscriptions on them, and a white altar with a golden pentagram in the center of it. The second circle was formed from the white columns, and we stood inside this temple in the center of the altar circle made of these stones. Era replied answering my question. You will sleep and dreaming. Your nightmare. Your dream when child. It's like game. Once you dreaming you must finish your dream as soon as possible. If you choose wrong path. For the eternity you cannot come out from that dream she replied. Making me think whether it really was safe to undergo such a trial. Thought I was at such places and the worst ones took entire billenias to get out. Not that I didn't enjoy myself. The worst part of the illusion part is that, if it the trapping was too long I would forget the fact it was an illusion, the last time it happened was 186,000 years ago, during my involvement with the Elphic Wars on Terraon. A distant fantasy land in a galaxy far away. At that time I was trapped in an illusion for 12,000 years, so, while there's no such thing as eternal imprisonment, getting out might take a long time. Not that I regretted the fact I spent some time there comma it allowed me to perfect many techniques and the reality is all an illusion anyways dot so. This is some kind of trap dot dot dot. Yasumi asked, worried. Double low quote yeah basically that's right a trap we co-create ourselves with the captors. An illusion creates a perfect dreaming paradise that can last for as long time we want it to dot 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 but then again our entire reality is just an illusion anyways I admitted explaining dot yeah I think it's the best place where Galamuth hiding. I can't stay here or go back to our room? Era asked I. Here here. Era was smiling at I I'll come in first. I'll check he is here or not. If not I'll come out immediately Era answered, while I touched her arm. Double low quote just be careful, if he's not there then we will look for him somewhere else, I know he's in this structure I admitted dot a dash am I supposed to go in there dot dot dot? Yasumi voice had a hint of panic. Double low quote we're all going, well at least I won't be alone I expressed myself dot don't worry blaze, if something happened to me I will inform you. And please take care of Aya. I afraid, if Dalamuth bring his children too. I hope Dietrich come here. Oh yeah Yasumi. You stay with others in here. I'll go now Era replied, as she started preparing. Chanting an ancient spell double low quote hey, before you go can you answer my question about the place we're in now dot 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 and who's Dietrich anyways? I asked hoping to get my answers dot we will stay for now. Yasumi asked and then looked at Era please be careful inside. She expressed. While we all observed her magical spell chanting, as yellow and green lights started shining on her body combing dot it's my dimension. Dietrich is my rival. 
I want to kill him so badly. And I really missed him. My arrogance we're my question not telling me anything about the temple, as she suddenly became engulfed in blue light that attracted red lightings, from the stones and green lightings from the pillars, Arrow's body started turning slowly increasing in speed, very dynamically, as the symbols appeared on the altar in the middle of this ancient light temple, Arrow's body was turning around faster and faster, as the aura that engulfed Arrow's body switched colors to red making it hard to recognize her in this speed as she suddenly disappeared with a flash of a white light, as everything returned to normal, the green and red lightings disappearing as well. Double low quote so she evaded my question and run away dot 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 so now the only thing that remains is to wait I replied point observing the grass I decided to sit down on it smiling, remembering the last time I could rest like that. Double low quote hey wanna join me, how about we have a picnic now? I asked. Yasumi gently touched her hair, correcting them, while facing me worried I wonder, if she's okay, Yasumi replied sitting down beside me, looking worried. While I opened my gray arm bag which I always carried on my arms, and took out some bread smiling and giving it to all the gathered. Double low quote will know once she comes back I replied handing the brown bread to Yasumi, Sasak, Mystica, Aya and Misa. Finally noticing and remembering whom I forgot, not counting Alpha and Omega who herself chose to not manifest for a while, the only other person that was gone was Dawn double low quote hey what happened to Dawn? I wondered asking and looking at both Aya and Missa. Remembering, that Yasumi didn't know whom I was talking about dot who is she, comma? Yasumi asked out of curiosity. While I looked around and started wondering what happened to her. Did she leave during our spiritual fights comma they didn't consume time in the material world. So my only guess was that she left or was taken away on Galamoth's orders. This strange girl's purpose could be the key element in our situation I thought before answering Yasumi double low quote she is our friend, he'll ask Ara about her whereabouts, maybe Galamoth called her back and is keeping her somewhere in all of this confusion we didn't even notice her disappearance I replied comma wondering whether Dawn was teleported to Galamoth, taken away by someone or Morelli run away somewhere dot the structure was very mysterious and there were more advanced forces working on the scenes than we even imagined. Oh, is that so dot dot dot? Yasumi said. Biting on the bread. While I cited double low quote you don't have a lot of conviction dot 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 but I am telling the truth I admitted. Looking at the girl and handing her some cheese, yawning and trying to relax point Yasumi just kept eating the bread dot well I guess you're right about that. I don't really have much confidence in myself. She said thoughtfully. Making me think about her words I analyzed this girl, she weared a red kimono. Her breasts had a good size, no bras comma no underwear point amusingly she weared only classically designed kimono, dark long hair and beautiful dark eyes were also her attributes. The kimono itself was tied up by a yellow rope around her waist and on her back, a katana like sword. Double low quote hey why don't we exchange information I propose dot information? Sure but about what dot 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 dot? Yasumi asked. While I smiled double low quote about our lives dot dot dot, and why you thrown away your underwear I asked smirking. Enjoying the fact that the girl was naked under the kimono, or at least that's what I thought at that moment dot w dash what dot dot dot. Yasumi blushed with embarrassment dot I dash it's part of my family tradition, she replied red. While I back off from the girl remembering there were witnesses around, as the other girls lauded. Double low quote okay tell me about your life family it's better, if we know everything about ourselves I looked around noticing that Sasuke and Mystica weren't around, while waiting for Yasumi's answer dot well. How do I say this? My family is conservative and protects the tradition of my clan. We are good with blades and music. Um. What else dot dot dot. Her eyes deep in thought. She continued thinking in silence interrupted by my response double low quote why don't you tell me everything about your former life or do you want me to start first? I responded looking at the girl dot her expression changed from serious to interested dot former life. Her voice was curious dot what do you mean? Yasumi asked curious. Double low quote you didn't think I was a demon my entire life dot 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 I started out as a human I admitted casually and looked at the girl double low quote but first you should tell me your story dot 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 that would be fair I replied assuming her curiosity would force her to reveal that information to me. 
Yasumi however didn't like me asking, she started getting nervous making me wonder what kind of secrets was she hiding. As a servant of the matrimonial Dell system she was a very interesting entity to me I don't know what you're talking about dot 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 trouble could be traced on her face, as Yasumi said that I'm human. And that's it dot she screamed out dot her brows knit together with worry. Her body took a defensive posture double low quote hey. No need to get so anxious I was just asking I casually replied to calm her down dot I did shine not axious Yasumi stuttered. While I observed her carefully and taking a breath comma trying to remember my own ancient past comma closing my eyes, for the moment drawing on the pictures from that time double low quote I was born, as a human on planet earth in its time the year was 1987, 8th of May, in the hospital in Kossel in Poland. We used to live in a Polish town called Szczesinik, that was over a eon of years ago from my perspective. But I can still remember some tiny bits of information, mostly symbolic. I wasn't born into a wealthy family. Dot, dot, I could say they were moderative, I guess. Dot, 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 H and M. -M. Well, I started researching the spiritual in 2003 while writing a stories. Damn, I don't even remember Fire titles anymore. Wow. Dot, 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 it was also at that time. Dot, 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 or maybe later, but somewhere in that decade that I became aware of the hidden machination of the system and the hidden conflict between the material and the spiritual. Dot, dot, dot. While I was at school, I felt in love with a girl called. Called Ania, well I guess. She was the first one I wanted to posses but the only one I haven't posed dot 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 to tell you the truth that's just about it, all I remember from that time are just scraps of information like a picture of me sitting on some grey stairs with a group of kids. Or some drunk beating me down at night comma me and a woman, my mum walking at night dot 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 that Amelia girl. My father and a brother dot 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 and that I used to hate my father I replied telling her my life story or at least these tiny fragments I could remember dot oh my, I'm sorry about that, Yasumi replied somberly, before standing up scoffed realizing that I said that over an eon has passed from my perspective. But wait. What year is this? Isn't this 2022? She exclaimed. While I replied back answering double low quote nobody counts the years anymore, but it's not 2022, from this world's perspective billion of eons of years have already passed, nowadays years are counted by the time corporations were established. For example according to this corporation we would have 68,000 something already, as this place was built 68,000 years ago earth time, each civilization counts their years differently dot dot and these that can travel through time count years differently as well I answered Yasumi's question dot I'm confused, she admitted, sheepishly. While looking around, as I explained her the situation dot where am I exactly then, she asked making me answer double low quote I call this place the mega civilization, it's basically a huge metropolis complex built on special platforms in space, that's right we're in space at the moment, the mega civilization is a federation that compromises all of the known galaxies in the world it's like an ultimate trade federation, these platforms are built from many platforms that each are owned by different corporations that build their facilities on them, that look like huge skyscrapers, towns or stations, Depending on the design that is best suited for the corporation I admitted explaining. T dash then. Yasumi started panicking. How do I get home? W why did you guys even bring me here? She screamed, while I covered my ears double low quote well the reason was simple to both protect you, your family and your world as well as to get information from you. Dot 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 until this is over your hour hostage I press him, you can't go back. If you don't want your planet destroyed I replied answering Yasumi's question. Information? I don't have anything on me. I swear. Yasumi answered, as walked around. Dot, I'm just an ordinary person, I've been living a normal high school life. I got friends and I join clubs. That's about it. She sighed. Making me sight. Understanding how pathetic my attempts at prying information were. The wind blow gently, while Yasumi just sat down, looking really confused, and a little dazed dot I just want to go home dot 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 she declared quietly, as she rolled herself into a ball, while leaning on one of the trees dot I came near home, she smiled teasingly remember the castle she used to live in with his sister. Double low quote for me home is everywhere therefore I am always at home I admitted replying lying down on the grass. Yasumi listened to me and then was pulled back by Aya. 
who was pointing at the forest, comma, surprising Yasumi, as she looked up at the young girl, huh? she replied, comma, a bit confused, while I was pointing at the forest, dot, it's home, I smiling. She shows the forest. It's our home. You can live in here too, she replied, smiling and nodding. Point Yasumi noticed the innocence in Aya's words. Thank you, little girl, but I have my own home. That's where my family and friends are. She smiled sadly, almost crying. This made me cry as well, at least a bit thought I managed to hold myself in check. I knew it was a mistake to summon this girl here, but we couldn't send her back. I looked very sadly at Yasumi, am I not your friend? She replied back almost crying double low quote word all friends here. I, I replied smiling. T dash that's not what I meant. Yasumi panicked, noticing that I became sad with her words. It's just that, my family will get worried, if I take a long time away from them. Yasumi replied, while I smiled double low quote oh I wouldn't worry about that you'll be back, before they notice, once we teleported you here, you stopped existing in that world, meaning that, for you time stood still you'll return in the moment you disappeared I replied almost logging dot be dash but how long will I stay here dot dot dot? Yasumi voice was full of concern. Double low quote it's of no irrelevance you won't age a moment in your own world Mystica replied, as she smirked observing Sasuke. Yasumi felt relieved, as if a huge pressure was lifted from her, when I told her about it is that so dot 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 dot? She sighed with relief. Double low quote my 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 what is our annoying little angel doing now? Mystica asked Sasuk walking over towards him, in a mocking greeting manner dot he dash that's not what I meant. Yasumi panicked, noticing that I became sad with her words. It's just that, my family will get worried, if I take a long time away from them. Yasumi replied, while I smiled double low quote oh I wouldn't worry about that you'll be back, before they notice, once we teleported you here, you stopped existing in that world, meaning that, for you time stood still you'll return in the moment you disappeared I replied almost lying dot be dash but how long will I stay here dot dot dot? Yasumi voice was full of concern. Double low quote it's of no irrelevance you won't age a moment in your own world Mystica replied, as she smirked observing Sasuke. Yasumi felt relieved, as if a huge pressure was lifted from her, when I told her about it is that so dot 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 dot? She sighed with relief. Double low quote my 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 what is our annoying little angel doing now? Mystica asked Sasuke walking over towards him, in a mocking greeting manner. H.M. Sasuke replied surprised by the girl's question dot thank goodness dot 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 Yasum said, answering my question she was really relieved. Double low quote anyways there's no reason to panic I added thoughtfully or at least thought it was thoughtful at the time dot hey. How much do you know about me? Yasumi started asking suspiciously you seem to have something else in mind, and you all act like we've met somewhere before. Do I know you? She looked at us suspiciously. Making me sight and looking at her annoyed double low quote take a guess I told your dreams were real. Do you understand it? Your spiritual self from your dreams served. A goddess that represents the system, the so-called whore of Babylon or, as I call it preferring to not insult the Babylonians dot 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 the matrimona del system and because of the fact you were her most high-ranked servant comma you were given a privileged and safe material life to gather information on the world and on the system itself. As well as to inform the system and its whores about actions made by the social outcasts and or especially these that like follow spirituality and not materialism. Now Lord Dalamuth wants to destroy humanity, and needs to destroy the system, he has the goddess all that remains was to kill you and were protecting you and retrieving the goddess and then I will have sex with her I replied explaining knowing, that Yasumi would protest, thought I knew, that my chance to use the whore of Babylon might as well passed, comma, since her body didn't have a soul already meaning that the goddess has passed away double low quote I think matrimona is dead I replied looking at Yasumi. The announcement got her dazed, as she tried to let the information sink in. She finally understood the situation we all were in, it was peaceful the artificially proper air moved around creating an artificial wind, it gave the impression of openness and vastness of the area, as the artificial environment was at least billion of kilometers wide, I keep looking at the trees seeing more trees in the distant point they created a huge and impressive mosaic, a combination of different species together in a single place governed by blue energy whirlpools and small silver-like nanoids that took care of every living being in this artificial paradise. 
I saw myself how these tiny robo bugs worked, collecting the seeds of different trees and categorizing them into the data banks. Even everything was analyzed and segregated in the manner of seconds. This was the marvelous feat of human ingenuity. Nearby small ants were carrying a green leaf comma taking it to the iron nest not bothered by the artificial bugs, even not attacking them, as they merrily and cleverly avoided contact. In the bee hive above us the busy bees were making honey, flying in and out of it looking for different flowers to collect some nectar, just as, if they would do in the natural environment, birds were singing making this place feel like a real forest. It sure was relaxing. This place is so similar to the natural forest, yet so different. Yasumi's voice was soft and so was her eyes. Maybe all this really needs is the sky. She sighed. This place feels so suffocating, like under a blanket. I looked at her, noting her reply. Double low quote. Well, that's true, we are under a blanket. A blanket created by the darkness, I replied, smiling. I don't like it. Yasumi whispered under her breath. While looked at the sky stretching myself totally not understanding the Gerald problem double low quote why? I asked very surprised. Double low quote what's the problem with this place I continued looking at the others dot nothing. I'm just not used to this, that's all dot she laughed sheepishly, as if trying to hide something point I continued looking at the distance partially understanding Yasumi double low quote it's okay. If I were taken into the future from 21st century planet Earth myself dot 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 I would be probably traumatized dot 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 it took me few hundred years to adopt to my new nature dot 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 do you think it's easy to accept that Earth was just a station dot 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 you're really doing fine dot 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 don't worry once you'll be back the memories will seem like a distant dream you'll probably forget about this situation now that matrimona's dead you will no longer be her spiritual servant so your dreams will be that of an ordinary human i suppose but we need to defeat the mad lord first i explained trying to cheer yasumi up wondering why she was so tensed that i'm not traumatized or anything like that i don't know i'm just confused some sort of memories that i've never really experienced are popping up she confessed Double low quote it's normal these are called the memories of a soul, don't worry about them they will soon assimilate, if you let them I replied looking at the girl and continuing to smile point luckily for me she started to relax a bit dot so you're saying, that I'm some sort of supernatural kind of person that used to be a servant of a goddess which is now dead? Yasumi concluded. Observing me with a very serious face, kinda scaring me even double low quote why yes that's exactly right and don't say it's impossible. After all you're here it's proof and odd I asked looking away a bit nervous, because of the girl. Basically I was talking and probably saving a servant of one of my greatest sworn enemies, this was truly an unusual situation for me. To be able to talk with this girl that served the matrimona herself, normally she would be protected by the structure itself, but since the whore of the system died, Yasumi was a necessary point in the same time Missa walked down into this land, leaving us alone, for a moment walking quite a distance from the temple we sat in, by passing scary trees she saw a haunted castle double low quote ok she thought in her head, as she wanted to see what is this castle dot 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 she came near it dot 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 and then dot 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 she come in is anybody here dot 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 hello she said dot 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 but nobody replied. Well dot 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 then dot 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 she comes to browse the castle dot 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 but something scary was hidden in it dot 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 she heard some scary sounds. Noticing shadows on the gray walls, going further trembling a bit from fear she continued to investigate the place. The walls were decorated with the golden candles, some of them were shining so brightly she continued to finally seeing what she came for. She saw something scary something mysterious, something soft hyphen soft hyphen soft hyphen soft hyphen and g ridiculous dot 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 this was the Chalhu god of madness, she screamed a bit and then she made crickle and started forming it into a big pentagram of fire dot 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 and attacked the shadow that appeared killing the god dot 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 she then took its body dot 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 and rushed towards an artificial sea. Where she dumped the shadow body dot 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 she touched the blue water forming many pentagrams inside the water. Making a sea magic and saying a spell dot 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 to accept a dead body of this creature dot 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 which in reality was just a spiritual remnant of Dalam of Sora and the memories he discarded, having Missa uncover the true identity of the Lord of Darkness.
Miss Ivan returned to us smiling mischievously as the shadow god, simply assimilated into Miss's own shadow, while she wasn't looking. I looked at the girl curious what mischief she was up to. What, if I told you a story guys? The story of a serpent and a girl? In a beautiful forest, in a land far away in distant planetary complexes there lived a cute innocent girl that was made of pure light the girl believe it or not was the only inhabitant of this strange forest like world, she was quite the innocent type not having a single malicious thought in her entire life, the only thing this girl could do was to take care of different beings in this forest and dance, yet she was very lonely, as most of the beings were plants and flowers, and while the girl continued taking care of them they couldn't reply or see her dance. Then suddenly a malevolent entity came into the forest the girl was living in a serpent made from darkness. The brutal vicious animal that thought about killing and destroying, it crawled on the tree and saw the beautiful maiden was dancing, and the serpent attacked the girl of light, while she danced, scaring the being of light and surprising, as she desperately tried avoided it, it continued attacking her calm of the serpent was happy to have a girl to challenge his power, but also angry to find such pureness, the evil animal wanted to destroy the girl, to terrify her to prove how strong it was and to demonstrate the terror it can bring. But the girl wasn't afraid of the animal she looked kindly at it continuing her dance, despite the fact the animal tried to attack and hurt her, getting in wrath it desired this girl so much, that the serpent couldn't stop thinking about this beautiful being. Becoming more mesmerized by the girl's wonderful dance calm of the serpent wanted to get close and touch the girl but she avoided it him, until he changed into a beautiful dark boy, stalking the girl, as she saw the metamorphosing and witnessed that the scary but sorrowful creature, was a being like herself. She looked closely with a childish knee head at the creature, seeing the feeling of sorrow in that boy. Dot, dot, dot. She wanted to be with this boy to be close with him and take away the darkness that engulfed the boy, while the boy wanted to be close to her and feel her warmness and so they hugged, and remained together for eternity. Despite the fact the boy continued to be the darkness, while the girl continued to be the light comma they both found comfort in each other, this comfort we call love I told my story looking at Yasumi double low quote do you understand now? This war, why you're here, and why we all are here? Even the mad lord. I asked Yasumi, hoping to hear her answer dot she just listened to the story, and her interest rising again. Darkness and light can never be separated. She was surprised at what she said herself. Not sure of where that thought came from, she tried thinking about many things, as if that simple sentence came from another person's lips. Double low quote and this is the eternal knowledge that makes one great. Once we understand and then accept it as simple understanding isn't a not. We learn to control a massive power, this is, when we finally learn or can even understand the true nature of God. Dot, 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 dot. So you assume me there's no reason, for you to fear this moment my advice is that you grab the moment, forget who you were, and where you live. Dot, 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 and just live in the present to return to your past, soon it will be over and this moment won't ever return, this is your blessing I replied lying down looking at the colors that we manifesting on the ceiling slowly clearing my mind from all these unnecessary thoughts. Enjoying the peaceful atmosphere of this moment. Yasumi corrected her hair I'm feeling sleepy dot 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 she yawned, while Mystica was playing with both Sasuke and Aya. The air was a bit stiff, as it was blown artificially but at the same time there was something atmospheric or even enchanting hidden in this place we were in point. Yasumi looked at me with her innocent eyes and then she leaned back on a tree and slowly closed her eyes and within a few moments, she fell asleep. Mystica enjoyed playing around with Aya, not knowing, that there could be so many things to do when being alive, her experience of this world made her desire such life comma making her slowly forget she wasn't even human. Sasuke looked at Yasumi then turned his eyes at the sky, lost in his own thoughts, while I smirked double low quote I told you it's a totally different experience, at this moment you're overwhelmed with these sensations dot 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 this is what's it like being alive dot 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 of course you can still shape shift and limit the sensations, as you're still an energy being I explained looking at Sasuke and smiling taking a breath. Sasuke ignored my explanation poking Yasumi on her cheek, making me a bit annoyed. Double low quote well really I exhausted and looked around observing the area, remembering that we still were inside enemy's base, and God knew what Galamuth would have installed for us, or when one of his traps would activate. 
for the moment however everything was calm, you might say it was calm before the storm as the old Polish saying said that the environment was warm, the place was gently light, with a lot of dark places, and animals were heard everywhere. A golden beetle opened its wings and flew across my nose, stalking me again and mesmerizing, as I continued to look at the shiny bug, it was a real beetle and not a robotic one, most obviously created by Galamuth's experiments or collected from some kind of planet. Yasumi was not only fast asleep, but also a very hard sleeper. No matter how many pokes Sasak did, she wouldn't even budge. Sasak was obviously fascinated by her point smiling double low quote I wonder why humans look so cute when they sleep? He asked making me look at him, not knowing what to answer. After all what kinda importance would her pleasant face have while she slept, my guess was simple comma that she was simply tired. There was no reason for me to ponder or even reply to such a ridiculous question I thought in my mind. Sasak however continued smiling, for him Yasumi's face was like a golden star, he continued staring at her. Seeing how muscles made the face twitch, while Yasumi slept lost in her dreams, what were the things she dreamt of was my concern. I analyzed whether would it be important or was she even having a dream, while Sasak still stared at the girl. The environment somehow made her sleep even more. The wind gently petted her hair making a small mess. Double low quote hey don't look at her like that or you'll fall in love I teased Sasak grinning. Sasak smiled and slowly bended over kissing Yasumi in her sweet lips double low quote I guess that will do he replied smiling innocently making me look at him with envy, as Yasumi screamed, while opening her eyes, stopped her heart was beating at a tremendous speed. Double low quote net nah. Yasumi screamed surprised, pushing Sasak down and instantly standing up, pushing herself on the tree and breathing loudly. Sasak smiled innocently and continued observing the young maiden. As still breathing rapidly, as if there's no air, Yasumi quickly went behind the tree. W why did you do that? She asked yelling stopped by the course, these events took. Me and Mystica were watching the whole situation curiously double low quote you were too cute Sasak replied closing his eyes and smiling. Making Yasumi hide behind the tree embarrassed double low quote now that's a quite of a romance we got here I replied looking at Mystica, as she smiled back, and continued looking at me confused by my words double low quote and what is that romance thing you mentioned? She asked smiling very politely making me sight. Double low quote well romance is, well it's a, when a guy meets a girl dot 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 and a girl meets a guy and they like each other but there's no sex involved just eating a lot of chocolate dot 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 well romance sex I always liked and days more I replied not knowing how to explain the basic concept of mortal romantical love. Double low quote um and what's a hint eh? Mystica continued asking making me blush and look at her a bit frustrated double low quote you know that you're too young to ask such questions. I replied trying to hide my embarrassment, caused by my pervy thoughts. Mystica smirked her eyes shining in red, as she replied double low quote you do realize I am at least thousands years old I am a shadow that existed throughout eternity dot 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 do not treat me like a child young one Mystica replied making me even more troubled. Double low quote it was just a kiss Sasak continued explaining Yasumi's his intention, as she looked at him furious why you don't understand. She protested. As we continued observing the whole situation, while I myself was hoping there wouldn't be any more questions coming from Mystica. Double low quote I don't Sasak replied, while I smirked double low quote yeah you definitely don't dot 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 another difference between the spiritual and the material dot 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 is that you cannot give your love so freely, or you might be accused of rape, the physical love is also very different than the kind you're used to dot 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 in spiritual we're all connected there's no such thing as unwanted love and there isn't anything you cannot do, for spiritual entities our physical shells are just containers used to experience different energy patterns, thus, you cannot rape a spirit dot 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 however for mortal this experience is definitely different for them loosing or injuring their containers means they cease to exist, as one of their own kind or die dot 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 and this is, why they don't like to be for example touched without permission dot 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 also the materialism is a philosophy of gathering resources, while starting out with limited supplies themselves. We live according spiritualism which is a philosophy of experiencing and combining and gathering spiritual energy which we can then convert to matter. 
or convert from matter at any rate most humans are more suited to gather resources in the form of materia, while we gather resource from energy and then convert it to matter to suit our needs I explained this issue to Sasak looking at them smiling, hoping my explanation would provide some understanding. Double O quote this is, why Yasumi is afraid of your touching you should limit your actions dot 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 I used to think spiritual is better than the material but after experiencing it a bit I now understand that both materialism and spiritualism are equal, both coexisting together might create a lot of good and evil, both styles of living can provide the same needs, whether you choose the spiritual or the material it really has no consequence. I think there is a huge issue with the two psychological personalities types, extroverts who are more oriented on the outside world will be much happier living according to the material principle, while the introverts will seek out more of the spiritual to provide for themselves. The only thing that annoys me is the system whores or the satans telling us that there is only one way to live. Fire hatred for each other makes them accomplices. In truth I think materialism and spiritualism are two worlds match or philosophies that when combined can create. Astonishing marvels, the mega-civilization we are now in is an example of what can be accomplished by combing matter and the spiritual I explained and looked at the forest taking a breath point suddenly to my delight I noted a familiar energy pattern, someone was crossing from the spiritual world and I knew, that person or magical being smiling I awaited our guest. The figure was hiding itself into the forest and escaping making me sight, as I yelled double low quote hazinga. Stop fooling around and come over to us. I yelled hoping that our guest would come closer to us. I looked around seeing dark trees and faced the direction ahead me from where I could feel Zinga's energy pattern moving forward and then started running jumping on the trees quickly and landing in front of our guest double low quote. Where the hell are you running off to? I asked the quest looking straightly at Zinga who looked back at me very scared double low quote no. I'm new to this world. I just don't know anything about this place and who are you? And how do you know my name? Zinga replied terribly scared by my presence, making me wonder did he hit himself on his head again. But then again it could pass several hundred years from his perspective in fact for me it was 500 or more. Double O quote it's me Blaze Master don't you remember? I asked trying to look Nicelli and then added double low quote but you indeed are in a very dangerous place, what brings you here anyways I asked looking at the boy fold with curiosity. Okay, here I come, so what you all people do? Zinga replied, as cited walking back to the ancient temple like structure double low quote clueless as always. Listen Zinga it's not a place to randomly jump into a war doing a war here you know. So you better get out, while you can. Or you can join us that reminds me of Freak Lucas I knew once who also tried to follow me in the spiritual until I using God's powers sent him to hell I just defeat that bastard easily mo dot dot oh well no point in saying his full surname now. He was a dick that once tried to steal from me in the material, while we were alive and a fool who thought he could defeat me in spiritual I made sure his hell's experience was complete in fact I was the one who punished him dot 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 then converting his darkness into a light, he wasn't even a challenge but a nuisance having him follow me all the way thought spiritual was a bit annoying but then again he was in a real disadvantage after all it took me barely few seconds to send him away into the deeps of despair and then to reincarnate his soul I replied citing double low quote thought I don't like being followed as it often created problems dot 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 so Zinga what's your explanation I asked looking at him and sitting back at the center of the temple observed by Aya, Sasuk, Mystica and Yasumi looking at the dark corner of the forest and smiling at the shadow that hidden in the bushes double low quote just come out already I replied finishing hey no need to be so harsh. Yasumi pat me on the shoulder and smiled reassuringly. While I looked at her and read the inscriptions on the magical site double low quote I just like to know what's going on. I am glad he is here, if he knows what he's getting into that is dot dot dot, if he doesn't he should leave to a different place I replied looking at the ancient drawings that show a man sitting in a yoga position holding two bells of energy, light energy in right hand and dark energy ball in the left hand closed eyes and meditating on the state of universe. I analyzed the symbol and decided to calm my thoughts as well. 
realizing that the only purpose of spiritual existence is to spread love, mixing vital energies and enjoying the pleasant ecstasies of what we would describe sex, but comprehend as different energy combination by sharing energy among each other, giving out force with imprinted spiritual DNA we give life to many spiritual forms, whether it would be a conscious act of sexual intercourse or imagination working wild energy thus produced and mixed with energies of others would create thought forms that then create life. The spiritual is indeed quite perverse in that regard and perhaps it's because why most following spirituality need to first accept their own desires especially these pertaining to sexuality, not then ask them for there is nothing wrong in sex that creates physical life, and nothing wrong with desiring an union with the spiritual entities, there is no rape, for all union is used to combine energies, sex is a tool for the spiritual to give birth to many living thumbs. This is, why sex was celebrated in the ancient worlds, because this intercourse represented the divine unions, to which all willing are invited sex wth a goddess is possible for a commoner and a king, status or wealth is not required but only readiness to give oneself to the desire, to fulfill the most perverse and most obscure wild dream you ever have dot 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 and to be able to love. The only requirement is to desire a perfect union, and not already but perhaps in this regard a commoner might be even better suited than a king, for the one that has nothing simply descent fear losses. In the end can gain this incredible right because of being humble, and humble approach is always advised, but humble descent mean not being bold, in fact some boldness is also required a respectful boldness and believe in oneself can do wonders and allow ones to ache a full ecstasy. Do not fear to touch but be respectful, while in the process treat others the way you want to be treated and they will repay in kindness. Be positive, while trying to establish a union and caring to your lovers and they will be caring and protective of you as well. This is spiritual exchange that done properly has many advantages. This was the hidden message of this ancient temple which was used to research spiritual exchange and the meaning of love as a building block of the universe. The dark energies released from the center pillar of our shrine started forming human shapes, developing into shadow ninjas which quickly started attacked me and would interfere with my meditation, if it wasn't for Missa who quickly jumped into a crazy all-out battle. After witnessing the strange creatures taking shape, she got out her katana and fighted these shadow beings slicing them into pieces with her holly blades, making them disappear into the afterlife, as she then sat down next to me, observing my meditation. Meanwhile Point Arrow stopped running. She saw something odd in that territory. She felt someone standing behind her who, she scared Point a girl stood casually behind her. Her hair in loose curls lightly swayed in the wind. Hello Arrow. I've been looking, for you, she replied smiling a bit menacingly. The two of them standed in the forest, but it was a different one than the one we were in. The sun shined brightly, while huge white fluffy clouds comma slowly were pushed by the winds on the azure sky. This forest wasn't artificially made it was full of natural beauty and life. The sun glistened off of Catherine. Usually a vampire would have been turned to ashes right about now. However, Era noticed the necklace. The necklace was pure silver with a water drop shaped lapis lazuli stone in the middle. The stone has magical properties which stops a vampire being bound by the Sunday. Era asked the girl who are you? Why are you in here? Observing the newcomer. She couldn't recognize how this person was connected to her own past point. Catherine smiled menacingly. Her face and body looked so youthful. Her eyes said otherwise. She was old, very old. My name is Catherine. Catherine Bennett. Catherine answered glaring at Aramadot, why you in here who are you Catherine? You are not a part of my memories. Aram replied. Catherine smirked. I know. She walked closer, as if she wasn't phased by Aram's aggression. You see, the thing about my kind is that we can get people to do whatever we want. For instance, Catherine looked Aram in the eyes, her pupils became small. Lift your right foot up. For some reason, Arana felt a strong urge to do, as Catherine asked. I won't do that. Arana, push yourself not too afraid. Why I had bad feeling what will she do to me? Arana thinks to herself. Catherine smiled. You're a strong one. You're not that easy to compel. She slowly circled Arana, examining her. You seem tougher than you look. Arana stared at Catherine. What do you mean? Well, Catherine breathed heavily. To compel someone is it? Hypnotize them. 
However, the fact you can hold off against a simple order, does not mean you're impervious to hypnosis at all. I wasn't even trying. The girl replied walking over to Ara, grinning. What will you do to me, Catherine? Ara asked a priest looking at the newcomer and trying to move back, wondering whether this person was sent by Lord Dalamuth to retrieve her soul. Point Catherine smirked. Nothing, yet. You will see me again, Ara. Very soon. And with that, she was gone. Disappy rang comma slowly evaporating into the air. Leaving no trace behind. Leaving Ara a bit confused as to the intentions of that mysterious visitor. Point Ara fallen to the ground. Feeling how her legs trembled so fast. What happened am I afraid of her? For a long time Ara remained scoped, thinking about Katharina. She is dangerous. Ara stood up and walked around the forest. Leaving the illusion realm and coming back towards us. While I was meditating opening my eyes and saw Ara walking out from a blue portal. Suddenly we heard a woman's voice to compel someone is to hypnotize them a mysterious figure revealed itself. It was Catherine standing behind Ara and smirking. Double low quote are you a friend or foe? I asked looking at the woman, while not seeing that Zinga managed to run away, I continued staring at the woman standing, while Mystica walked over towards her, distracting, as she looked like a ten-year-old child innocently staring. Correcting her fancy hat. Double low quote you want to play on a chin? She asked mimicking Aya's behavior in fact reading herself to attack Catherine comma who knew that this girl that was dressed in white was in fact a demon created out of dark matter, a true hellish shadow. Yasumi was standing looking at us, she was just waiting for Ara to say something. Do we go in? She asked innocently. While I sensed a massive reconfiguration of energy taking place, as the ceiling became active and lights turned off, purple energy streams were visible. Going throughout different place connecting into symbols on the ceilings, shooting at us with energy shoots. The entire structure began its assault on us, as we tried to avoid being hit a double low quote run quick guys it's an ambush. I managed to scream out moving quickly behind the trees, as the multiple needle sized energy beams hitted the ground activating the sensor mines hidden under the artificial ground, as they exploded in orange flames. Double low quote this place is booby trapped. I screamed, while the mines explodes and energy shoots came out of the forest. Small fusion bullets perceived the air hitting trees covering comma crushing them with fire explosion and covering in terribly bright blue flames, while I shielded myself with a silver shield being knocked by two bullets that thrown me to the ground. Hearing noises and looking at the ceiling, as the purple energy created circular structures comma the lex and complexity of which would be hard for me to describe comma shining in a terrible bright light sending micro information to some computer consoles that were beyond our reach. Yasumi helped and protected the others on the way, trying to save them from the falling debris, Mystica summoned her shutdown birds that in just a matter of few seconds fold the artificial skies absorbing the purple rays into them and flying in circle, creating a powerful dark protective barrier. While I standed up and rushed back towards Yasumi joining them. Looking around wondering, where Catherine was hiding it was obvious she was behind the attack on Galamuth's or someone else's orders. The bullets were still shoot at us, as I created a powerful sphere-like shield withstanding the powerful blue explosions which made even me tremble, my invisible shield behaved like water on contact with the bullets squishing them, as they released fire blue flames, creating tiny circles on contact just like the rocks do when thrown into the water. Playing out a nice melody, as the flames were repelled and fallen to the ground, while billion or trillions of other bullets attacked my shield, these bullets would rip us apart, if it wasn't for the shield, while Mystica concentrated on looking for the source of the attack. The attack came from around us increasing with speed. Yasumi gasped in fright let's get out of here. She exclaimed. Double low quote we can't were trapped I replied looking back at Yasumi, enforcing the shield, as the attack became more powerful. Double low quote the attack is caused by a rotating structure, my birds will try to disable its energy structure but it might take some time Mystica replied, as the shadow birds squeaked and started flying down on an invisible target. Hitting them exposing the iron masking shields which disruption momentarily revealed a silver totem like machines, that surrounded us in rings composed of circles in all possible directions, these two or three foot tall totem like robots were everywhere. 
while I closed my eyes and could sense a faint energy pattern being sent by each of these robots double low quote they're using electro waves to communicate and send energy to each other dot 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 they're connected in a web like structure I replied while mystic as birds started changing into pure darkness that engulfed the space sucking out the micro waves slowly disactivating the robots as I concentrated on my shield and sent a massive force attack composed of billion tiny but powerful microbeams that hitted the robots in the speed of light creating a massive display of explosions that engulfed other robots, spreading like a chain the orange flames rose and slightly damaged the energy system on the roof activating the anti-fire systems, as water started felling down, mixed with debris of these machines that slowly hitted the ground. Double low quote I guess that's that I admitted opening my eyes, while Mystical looked back at me double low quote I wouldn't be too sure about that. She replied. Yasumi looked at Mystica with a deeply worried expression what's gonna happen? She reacted. Double low quote I feel tanks Mystica replied and indeed we could hear noises coming out of the forest, as these tanks were making tire way firing tire photon cannon at us each producing a greenish flash. The brown machines made fire way throughout the forest, the automatic systems inside slowly calculated fire path maintaining control and directing the entire squad, forcing me to disable my shield hearing them nearby from behind us and noticing some of these vegetables at front double low quote we need to try and hide quick into these bushes I ordered pointing towards a huge bush in which we could seek shelter. Double low quote or we could try going above I noticed the trees and made my way into the bushes, as the tanks were coming fast dot let's go above. We'll get a good view from there dot Yasumi suggested. While a column of tanks made fire way just past the bushes we were in, making us communicate quietly to avoid detection, as the tanks were equipped with yellow radar antennas that monitored the environment for any movement camera and the red camera which came out from a hole under the antenna, just like a snake that comes out of his nest observed the area to locate our whereabouts. Double low quote we need to be careful okay let's go I suggested, as they disappeared in the distance, as I grabbed Yasumi in my arms and used my force to jump on the highest tries placing her steadily on the branches. Double low quote just don't fall I replied, as the others quickly followed us. Era murmurs something. She's, dangerous, I looked back at her smiling double low quote you don't say commenting and looking around at the huge forest, glad that everyone made fire way on the trees, as we continued looking for a way out. I really did hope Era would lead us out of this mess point Yasumi gasped, trying not to scream. She didn't expect that I would take her and jump. Surprised by my speed and how fast we moved upwards, stopping near the top of a 567 meter tree. Double low quote are you alright Yasumi dot 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 area lead us out of this trap now I replied to both Yasumi and area and noticed orange flames spreading at the borders of this forest, creating dark smoke. What are those tanks doing? Yasumi whispered sharply. While I observed the fire consuming the trees, and creating dark smoke that followed the area, spreading like a disease. The trees were dying, as the higher physical material was released in burst of energy that was produced by these orange flames. Releasing powerful energy that turned into an unbearable heat wave, while the smoke minimalized the air we used to breathe double low quote they are burning the forest to make us shook, remember, that we're in an artificial structure these trees are used to create air. I replied a bit worried about the situation continuing to seek a way out of this whole mess. Yasumi was terrified because of the rapid motion the events took there has to be a way. She exclaimed dot but we don't even know why this is happening, adding. Double low quote well, for your information it's happening because of Galamuth Mystica explained, as shoots came from behind us forcing me to summon an electro shield to deflect them. I tried to locate the source of the shoots but wasn't able to locate it point Yasumi climbed up on a tree and looked around for any signs of people. Meanwhile I suddenly was punched out by an invisible android, as a group of silver humanoid androids made themselves visible and jumped after me beating me badly, as I was falling down and hitting the ground, the four androids landed on the ground near, as I sended a blue scop while forcing them to jump back a bit, as the tanks started firing at me forcing to move. 
quickly jumping I entered combat with these machines that surrounded me and tried to hit my face forcing me to defend myself comma, by covering my head with my arm, and then pinching the robot in its face and moving forward turning back and sending back a whirlpoolic energy at them, only to have them shield themselves by extending their hands into a circle shield that absorbed my attack into them making these robots more powerful. As two of them picked up Pocket's knife and moving with the speed of light managed to cut my face twice, making me angry and power of my entire spiritual energy which I then released at them screaming, creating a huge yellow atomic-like explosion that burned them to pieces but destroyed a huge part of the forest as well. My power engulfed the tanks that were close by destroying these in few seconds as well, forcing the entire group to move quickly in order to not get engulfed in the calamity I created, as I quickly followed them leaving the blast area, as well point miss I gotten out the spell book and searched something really powerful. A spell dot dot then she found one, but before doing it dot 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 she needed to draw a pentagram comma and only then she said the spell dot 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 finally the tanks burned in fire, one of them froze's, and the other was headed by lightning double low quote how's that, she asked looking at me, while I smiled delighted and myself decided to use a spell concentrating my mana into tiny red orbs, that slowly came out of me. As I drawn a red pentagram collecting the orbs like dots in a children's book and putting my hand on the newly created symbol. That floated in front of me sending my energy into the pentagram, which shooted out a rainbow colored energy whirlpool, blasting throughout the forest. Hitting the tanks and everything in its path disintegrating it on a molecular level, as I moved my hand upwards controlling the whirlpool and pointing my hand behind myself I directed the energy behind me destroying a thousand of these mechanical brown tanks, before dispersing the energy double low quote see you need to work on that spell I suggested to miss a dot how long is this gonna take? Yasumi asked, while Mystic jumped behind her hugging to keep her from falling down due to the turbulences caused by our attacks, while I sended a powerful energy beam at the moving tanks that were distracted by this unexpected attack double low quote so far so good we're doing quite well, we got a move I replied jumping to a different branch and used my hands to invite the others to follow me, making Mystic a release Yasumi double low quote you should jump now she replied waiting for Yasumi to move dot jump where? Yasumi asked a little too calmly, making Mystic point her to the branches ahead of them on which I was standing monitoring the area. She jumped to where I was standing. Double low quote are you okay I asked helping her keep balance, while purple lightings came down not hitting us, this was the discharge of magical circuits that occurred because of us damaging the magical infrastructure, I monitored the energy Placelli noticing, how it helped us by distracting the tanks even more and went ahead jumping to another branch, as we slowly made our way dot no I'm okay, you don't have to help me balance was all Yasumi could said. Mystic the following silently double low quote it is okay to rely on me dot 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 I can have many purposes dot 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 I can do many things Mystic that mumbled looking at Yasumi a bit insecure, squished by some fear she started experiencing. Mystica herself wanted to be necessary, needed it, because she was a being that thought she could exist without a purpose. Mystica was a spirit that only started to learn how to be a proper demon, or a proper human emulation. Most demons often specialize in emulating humans to serve as ambassadors of different energies or pattern they were created from. Just like angels thought the only difference between an angel and a demon is that angels always serve only God, while demons can't serve God and their own interest as well, in that sense they are more similar to humans, as demons can possess a human-like ambition point especially, if they evolved from human beings, thought spirits and demons can also come from animals or even compilations of societies, known as the so-called thought complexes. Angels on the other hand are always archetypes come energies created from God for a specific purpose, while demons or spirits are often energies or spiritual entities that created themselves evolving from other life forms or simple thoughts, emotions. Just like building a castle out of block, everyone contacting these energies add something to them, allowing them to build their forms and to gain awareness. It was pretty much so with Mystica who used by memories of Ania, as a thought construct for her own creation. Mystica was intelligent thought and an independent being in her own state, thought she didn't have a human-like awareness that would allow her to communicate or manifest in a form understandable for us mimicking the looks of a human girl. 
of course Mystica started feeling human emotions, the emotion of wanting to belong somewhere and because of her true nature she of course was quite honest about these, just like every child would. Looking desperately for someone to acknowledge her, she perhaps found it in Yasumi's proposal Miss Mystica. Let's go. Yasumi smiled and offered her hand. Making Mystica hesitantly grab it, looking away being a bit embarrassed by these sudden emotions that started to overwhelm her. I continued observing the area noticing the change of the environment there was something odd, which made me feel uncomfortably anxious. Yasumi mild sincerely at Mystica. While I continued observing the area double low quote I feel something shifting I cannot triangulate thought. Yasumi do you guys feel anything? I asked touching the brown bark of the tree on which I was standing on. Knowing, that there was definitely something lurking in the shadows above. Mystica sent some of her shadow birds upwards to investigate but as soon as they lifted they were shoot down by some green rays. Just as, if something or someone were watching on us from above remaining invisible. What's wrong? Yasumi looked at me curiously. Double low quote I am not quite sure but we might get attacked soon by a new enemy dot 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 dot, unless that's just a spy I replied pointing out to the darkness double low quote concentrate I bet you can feel someone dot 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 or then again maybe she doesn't even remember how trace arrows I replied citing a bit wondering would there be any moves made from our new enemies. Yasumi shaked her head, frowning dot no. I don't remember anything. She replied, while I took her hand double low quote anyways guys we gotta move fast. There's gotta be a way out of here. I commanded thought being a bit lost, myself waiting for Era to take the initiative. Suddenly in the flash of silver lightings the enemy appeared taking a form of a massive silver wolf approaching towards us freezing everything around it, as it spoke to us double low quote I and Fenrir of the Ragnarok clan he replied making us notice the animal god, as he appeared above our head double low quote and what do you want Fenrir of the Ragnarok clan? I asked remembering, that Catherine was hiding nearby. A giant blizzard was formed and the cold winds occurred in the entire territory of this artificial forest freezing the trees and all animals that live there, almost freezing us double low quote your lives for my master. Fenrir spoke, as I looked at him and teleported behind pulling out my lasso sword and cutting the wolf's back targeting its hearth double low quote goodbye for now I replied sending my entire power into the silver wolf using my lasso sword as a conductor frying and disintegrating the animal in the white flash of my power in mere few seconds. However my attack was intercepted by a red haired young man dressed in some jeans comma and leather coat, who looked at me with his green eyes, as I jumped down. You are hurting them? The red-haired man replied, as I looked confused not knowing to whom he was referring. Yasumi was agitated looking at the scene. Who are these people now? Yasumi screamed it out, as fear was rising again within her. She didn't know who to trust. Making me hit her gently in the face double low quote wake up. They are Galamuth's children by the way have you seen Era and Aya? Damn these two ditched us I replied, while Mystic ascended her shadow birds into the red hair man, making them attack our enemy with all fire power and speed. The door was brown, looking at them I Glacelli approached them. Mystic jumped at front and quickly opened them, revealing a blue portal inside them shaping into an image or room, Mystic entered the doors quickly. While I was pushed inside by Era. Let's go she said jumping to the portal, making the blue energy angle fess, as it started shaping into another dimension. Double low quote you could have waited. I admitted, while we found ourselves in a new environment. Double low quote where are we now? I replied hoping the others would find us here. We were walking in a huge castle hallway, having jumped into another realm yet again. The grey castle walls were full of medieval coat of arms. While its floors were covered with green mold. Near each of the coat of arms two black knights were standing, these were just armors that were added on the display for someone's pleasure. The building was huge, as we walked slowly throughout the dark hallways we are in the hall era replied, while we looked around. We noticed weird statues standing near some huge gigantic stairs, that were located in what appeared to be the center of the building. Era looked at the golden ceiling above the stairs. She reads the stars, that were engraved there, made from green chrysidine jewel-like structures comma that were forming complex symbols that were arranged in some kind of mystical fashion. Let's go era commanded walking to the stairs, which started glowing in a green aura. Double low quote what's happening? I asked following her slowly. Don't mind it. 
Someone trying to make you all afraid. Don't worry. It's just child play era replied. Double low quote is it Galamuth? Mystica asked looking back watching the stairs Placelli dot no. It's the stars. Oh, I see it's just some stupid stars Mystica answered and giggled. Making me look at her and sight knowing that she never changes, but then again her personality was evolving slowly. I'm not stupid, there was a sound that came behind one of the weird statues. I a boy in clown clothes came out comma looking annoyed. Sigh. See, it's just child play Aaron calmly answered. Arian it's not a child. I won't let you wish upon the stars the boy continued, speaking to us angrily. Double low quote humph kiddies should go home Mystica answered smirking and walking up the stairs dot we are too busy. We won't wish upon the star. So get out from here, Arian Era replied a bit angrily. While I smirked a bit. Meanwhile Missa decided to draw some dresses, and when she had finished she decided to make them alive, with her magical pencils dot she quickly dressed herself into these new dresses. The kid came closer to us I won't go anywhere priestess. Arian admitted showing his tongue out. The stairs despite being inside the castle formed an entire new structure, similar to Japanese Shinto temples, built from redwood that was decorated with fine gold and silver, yes this place was full of symbols from earth. We followed Mystica slowly entering the stairs, while I eyed what the clown kid was doing, standing powerlessly or obviously appearing to be powerless under this situation. Point above the stairs the floor was decorated with multicolored marble, that were cutted into nice flowerly patterns. On the edges of the one of these shrines founding pillar pot was bowling with green substance evaporating from it. We were eyed by a tiny figure, that was standing hidden in the darkness. I could feel the presence but ignored it, for a while entering inside the shrine. Above us on the top pillars that were joined to each other by wooden poles coming out of them, masks were hanging, these were the traditional representations of the Oni, Japanese folklore demons, with a scythe hanging near each single mask. The scythe was a symbol of a shinigami, or, how I used to know him the Grim Reaper, or Lady Death. Small amounts of light was being let inside the structure, while tiny bugs made the iron way passing us slowly carrying tiny bolts of energy and implanting them into the wall structure, I turned my head around noticing the tiny figure's disappearance. Slowly making my way on the silverly decorated eastern carpet that shone golden symbols of lions. Around us there were huge boxes placed, these brown boxes contained magical gifts that were used by Galamuth to power his spell. I was surprised how he was able to cultivate such diverse sources of spiritual energy. Then I noticed the center of the shrine to which Aram was moving closer, a huge golden star was placed in the middle of the shrine. Under it on a red cushion a small silver wolf girl was sitting, smiling and walking. So you are in here too? After Arian now you? Aram asked the girl, facing her directly, while we made our way towards the altar. Double low quote who is she? I asked looking at the girl dot m dot 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 she, Aram bited her lips a friend oh my mean an old friend dot 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 maybe, she continued hesitantly, while we awaited the new girl's reaction. Mystica smirked and walked over towards her bowed down. Walking back towards me she then turned back smiling double low quote a priestess used by the demons she replied commenting. Double low quote ha? Huh? I asked wondering what she meant by it. Aram was obviously troubled comma so she decided to look away, without saying anything. I knew this meant, that there was more troubles installed for us. Aram came closer and whispered, what will you do? Continue searching or waiting she cast a spell on you. I'm in really sighted. Double low quote well that might be fun or not I replied and was wondering what was going to happen double low quote looks like we entered another trap I admitted dot and maybe it will be but I'm not sure. I don't want to face her arrow whispered back, comma, while I looked into the girl's silver eyes double low quote so what do you suggest we do, since she already noticed us I replied knowing, that our situation could be a little bit hopeless dot don't ever answer every time she asked a question arrow replied quietly double low quote she didn't ask anything yet I replied and looked into the distance dot I just warned you. It's the way she cast a spell long ago. But now? Arana shaked her head I don't know double low quote all right you there were looking for Galamuth do you know where he is I asked the question to the girl that was sitting on that cushion double low quote answer me wolf girl I continued. Then I kneeled down in order to give my respect to this awkward priestess. We were in a shrine after all, so I thought it would be better, if I prepared an offering. 
In ancient times it was customary for visitors to make that when entering into these holy places. Opening my gray backpack I took out two medium-sized bowls. One in red color the other yellow. Then I stood up and walked back five steps making sure I was exactly five steps away from the silent priestess. I putted the bowls on the ground and again opened my bag to take out a crayon. I putted the red and yellow bowl two steps apart from each other and started drawing lines comma this was the beginning of the circle that ended comma after the lines turned touching the other bowl touching it. I then repeated the process drawing the other half of the circle. I lifted the red bowl and connected the circle from one side to another putting the bowls on the line, then I lifted up the yellow one and done same. I entered the middle of this circle standing between the yellow and red bowls point I waved my energy concentrating on the divine power of the universe. Looking up on the ceiling I noticed how the spiritual energy was slowly moving towards my circle point I inserted my hand into the bag and picked up a mineral water bottle I took from earth. I poured the water into the red bowl comma until the bottle was empty. Observing how the spiritual energy interacted with the water from the bottle. Turning my attention towards the yellow bowl I used my spiritual energy to create flames. This was a diving flame of the Holy Spirit that I then knelling down transferred to the yellow bowl. Standing up I faced the silent priestess, cautiously analyzing her moves. Both the water and the flame were transferring energy comma sustaining the flame in the yellow bowl. The circle gradually lightened up in a beautiful mesmerizing green color. Releasing a green aura into the surrounding air currents. I moved my hands more and more rapidly comma performing an ancient ritual dance point bending my knees and waving, forming a fist and then opening my palms stretching out my fingers. Moving my hands in a karate fashion but much slower in order do not lose the energy flow. I placed my hands above the two bowls, making circles with my palms, while blue smoke was forming out of the water and the green one aroused from the orange flames. I was perfectly in the control of the two smokes, throughout my spiritual body I was adept in controlling the electrons that formed both the energy and matter, allowing me to reshape any surface at my will. I draw the two smokes together mixing them slowly like a tornado, moving my hands gently, as if I was petting the smokes both clouds continued coming out from fire respective sources, and both of them retained fire colors, as bright light was coming out of them in rays. I continued to slowly mold the two pillars of smoke into a two-colored one, forming a eastern dragon out of it. The mythical creature opened its eyes, as it was flying above my head. Green and blue at the same composed from these two colors, and changing it at will. The dragon was circling above my head creating a circle mirroring the one on the ground. Which continued glowing in that beautiful green color. The dragon opened its red eyes and looked at the priestess comma flying above the altar looking on the girl point while I left the circle returning slowly back to the group. The dragon growed a bit but not in an evil manner, it was just manifesting its stream. It stared back at me and the group. The great lizard like dragon directed its attention on other ornaments in the shrine. The hidden figure revealed itself to us, comma, walking slowly towards us from behind. Comma, I turned myself and noticed the tiny creature. He was the size of a human, maybe or maybe a dwarf, comma, looking a bit grotesque like a little imp, while the boy from behind joined him standing and looking at us angrily. The tiny two figure took few steps in front of Arian and bowed respectfully before us double low quote I see now why the Lord of Darkness Dalamuth finds you annoying, that was an interesting presentation you did there Blaze, my name is Inblimu I am one of the Galamuth's servant, and it makes me proud to do my lord's bidding, I was created for this very thing, you see Blaze for us born from darkness that can only emulate life serving is the only way to survive, therefore we cannot allow you to interfere with our masters. Ambition and blame were expressed, as I felt two other energy beings materializing in the shrine. The two old man one dressed in white robes similar to the clothings of the ancient patriarchs, and a mirror image but dressed in black were walking closer. Double low quote allow me to present my coordinators the one dressed in white is called white master, the one dressed in dark is called dark master dot 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 they are right hands, consider it an honor that they came personally to dispose of the problem you pose in Blimo admitted, while we continued gazing at the newcomers. Mystica quickly took interest in these new figures and walked forward to Inblimo double low quote hey if you said you served Alamuth then bring us to him I have some unfinished business. Mystica screamed out as her ravens followed the space above angrily flying down and flying between us and in Blimo annoying the dragon I created. 
who went above near the ceiling and from this distance observed the whole commotion. Double low quote I am not an imp and you will die here. And Blimo screamed out, double low quote you fool they are immortal just like us white master expressed, walking closer to Inblimo who bowed in response to his own master's harsh words double low quote forgive me my master I forgot about that Inblimo expressed apologizing. Double low quote this is a battle of spirits we will test your group's ingenuity white master answered looking at us. While I looked a bit and faced Aram a double low quote what now? I asked. Dot the colors of the floors slowly changed colors. Come of the molecules were discharging different electrons that were changing combination. These electrons created matters by combining into different structures. That's why precision of these skills is considered the most greatest treasure of the universe. The one that can control electrons or energy is truly immortal. Of course, it's not a task one might do without cooperation with different beings that specialize in forming and directing different energy patterns, just like many programs that united create an entire operational system on your computer. This ancient wisdom was gradually forgotten over time, buried deep in the sands of the material reality. The power of God contains this knowledge that can create miracles, that's why we should praise the one and true God that controls all the other gods who are minerally forms he chooses to manifest or angels he employs. God is a master of everything in this world, however his mastery would be better described as coordination, it is it that coordinated the energy flows on the floor we were standing comma by using many beings that always remain connected to him. Just like a computer or terminal connected to the network can send important data, so to God receives these information and sends his commands to these beings that then reinterpret them according to their higher needs. The pink energy currents formed into different shapes and structure that were manifestation of this impressive magical tool that spawned and tied with each other different dimensions. This magical tool was God. Galamuth's maddening ambition was to use God itself to negate itself but this was impossible, because in God there's no negation. God, as an entity exists in everything, everyone and everywhere connected to its creation at any time. Every creature having at least a small concept of God and what it is, thus each being perfectly capable to restore God, being God itself, for God's essence is truly in everyone, everything and everywhere, in all forms and in all signs, everywhere God talks at random occasions celebrating the insane date of life and death, where only life exists. Galamuth being a part of this dance as well. In the hands of both dark and white master golden cross ears appeared, forming out of air, the molecules combined, because the higher minds sent electrical impulses into the molecules that were floating around, programming them to form into magnificent golden, intriguingly ornament cross ears, which they knocked on the floors two times. Sending blue rays at us forcing me to push everybody out of the way, as Mystica Ravens descended down attacking the two men, who used the cross ears to cut the ravens in half while the explosions caused by the rays being heard in the distance. Mixing with the squeals of these shadow ravens double low quote you dare to hurt my little ones? Mystica asked smirking, as her eyes glow in the red double low quote you underestimate the power of darkness gentlemen, let us the true face of horror Mystica replied, as she started moving incredibly fast appearing behind Dark Master and literally hitting him fraught, with her bare hand moving it up like a sword cutting fraught what appeared to be flesh, but making Dark Master only lot, as he reformed himself from air after being cut it down double low quote I cannot be killed so easily dear he replied looking at the Mystica who jumped. Away in the speed of light double low quote so I can't see, that she replied returning to the group. And Blima rushed at me forcing me to evade the little demon, as I clapped my hands sending energy waves at him, that made him fall of course comrade and moved my hand forward myself moving backwards and shooted an orange energy beam at my enemy. The ground started shaking comma the shaking caused by the explosions that ripped the floor forcing me to avoid these energy blasts and fly into the air, sending lightnings and many tornadoes at Emblemo, who swiftly evaded them, while the girl and the dragon observed us curiously. Her eyes sparkled a bit and a green aura was seen coming from her. Some strange shadows appeared in the floors. Along with small amounts of water, the shadows started drinking the water sucking it inside themselves. The water evaporated. While Missa rushed into battle trying to attack the girl, but was deflected by a purple electromagnetic shield, and jumped back running away. The priestess herself Minrelli disappeared. Era cited double low quote why the situation become like this zipper, behind her appeared a spiritual zipper. 
Firestorm and Dark Shadow area continued summoning two horned white wolves that started walking towards her. I order you Firestorm. Burn and Blimo. Dark Shadow searched the priestess she commanded, as the wolves rushed attacking in Blimo, who Mirelli sent Snebber lightings and jumped away being chased by these magical creatures double low quote impudent breath, he screamed and sent some white energy balls at area, meanwhile I was busy trying to attack White Master with my lasser sword but he only avoided my strikes double low quote is that the best you got boy, he mocked me double low quote don't underestimate me. I screamed, knowing I wasn't doing as good as I would want to. Point Firestorm needed the white ball before it attacked Era, making in Blimo annoyed, as he evaded some purple energy shoots. Era continued shooting these purple shoots at the imp like demon who was jumping away in haste. Sigh, I really hate in Blimo. Firestorm absorbed his energy, she commanded, and the wolf appeared behind in Blimo, who turned away and moving his hands into a triangle, sailed the wolf's mount, rushing at Era herself trying to hit her with some kind of magical combination. The dragon was surrounded by the dark ravens, which Mystic ascended out earlier and observed the situation slowly. While the dark priest did giggle being controlled in some trance and remaining invisible, as Shadow continued his search for her. White Master used a powerful blue energy current that he summoned to push me back, while I shielded myself with a silver-like substance I was able to materialize comma to absorb the blue energy. White Master walked back and looked back at Dark Master, they both united fire powers, but were interrupted by the dark strings, summoned by Mystica who started running trying to tie the two brothers together, but was hitted with White Master's crozers and jumped away burning double low quote what a poor child Dark Master commented, making White Master angry double low quote don't sympathize with the enemy you old fool. White Master screamed at his brother, thinking he was too naive to understand the threat we posed to Fire Creator. What the arrow screamed, avoiding in Blimo, whose red eyes shined, when he tried using his entire power to blast her, instead hitting the floor that was shattered in the massive explosion and the two were covered in dark smoke, Arrow concentrated summoning the other horn wolf which came out. In a blue area entirely made of water. Aqua Marine, she yelled. Overhearing the conversation of the two masters, Era decided to use it to her advantage and screamed I like Dark Master better than White Master obviously making White Master been annoyed, as he answered with firing a powerful energy blast at her double low quote silence, he yelled. Angered by the fact Era was trying to use Dark Master's softer side, both of them being created from the same source, represented different sides comma White Master was more forceful and colder in his dealings with the surrounding world. While paradoxically it was Dark Master who was given a more warmer hearth in some kind of twisted joke, Galamuth made to entertain himself. Dark Master why White Master angry and so scary? Is he stress, because he not as good as you? It is the way he show his jealous? Era continued. Making Dark Master smile and what a bit double low quote well you know my child, it's, because he really cares for our master and takes his duty too seriously he replied before being hitted by his brother in the hand double low quote shut up you fool can't you see she's distracting you. White Master answered angrily. Double low quote really? My brother? You need to learn to trust people more Dark Master replied. While White Master cited double low quote you hopeless fool. White Master what Dark Master said was true. You must trust people more Era replied. While White Master turned around looking at her with disquist double low quote trust these inferior beings dot 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 did you lose all of your senses Era? These are just tools used by gods to control the world White Master replied and smirked dot yeah I'm a fool. It is, because Galamuth never give me the true freedom. So I decided to collect some fun Era replied looking back at White Master. Double low quote freedom is just an illusion do you really think you can decide about things in this world? Do you think such a tiny intellect is capable of understanding the choices to be made? We all are just pawns that magnify the glory of our only creator Galamuth comma nothing more than simple algorithms given forms you're no more real than all of us a single speck of energy, a light that fades away. You wish to decide without even being able to? And what would you decide little girl? The world is not your playground anymore it all belongs to Lord Galamuth he alone may decide our fate dot 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 it would be wise, if you remembered, that White Master answered Era. Double low quote are you sure brother? There are many things that live independently from the ambitions of our creator Dark Master replied. 
Double low quote nonsense such way of thinking will lead you to abyss nothing is independent from our Lord. Now my brother destroy that girl. White master screamed madly. Double low quote no I wasn't taught how to take life and like you please reconsider white master, I think you're the one lacking the understanding of our Lord's will dark master screamed and stood in front of his brother. Double low quote how dare you speak that to me dark master I am your brother and we are one. We were created from the same source comma we share the origin together, connecting to each other we are the closest to one another, and together we manifest our true potential to serve the Dark Lord Balamuth. Don't be tricked by the sweet words of the inferior flame white master expressed looking at the whole mess. The tiny particles of colorful lights were flying around us, dancing to an enchanting song. I stopped looking at this new strange phenomena. Wondering what was now happening come of the lights were summoned by the dragon that was flying below the golden ceiling. Its eyes in green color, as it was observing the battle being raged below itself. Growling and sending out these lights, it tried to act as a peacekeeper, but was partially ignored. Just like its existence wouldn't matter I felt a bit sad because of this fact. Double low quote are these tears? Mystica asked wondering, as she grabbed one of these lights in her hands, and it vanished. An evil grin appeared in Aria's face, I always know, that I cannot be freedom. I'll always wish he would take me, where I belong. Where I can feel, that I'm just an ordinary girl who don't know magic, spirits or god exits in this world Aria admitted looking at White Master, who lauded and continuing gazing her with his sinister expression double low quote you should feel lucky to be considered our lord's pawn he replied, not wanting to acknowledge his Aria's sorrow, rejecting her views that were against his own grand doctrine of life. Where existence is just a key fragment of the ultimate reality that cannot be accessed by ordinary or average experience. Hence he mocked Aramis' childish dreams. Lucky? Am I? Arama laughing. Don't joking around. White Master moved swiftly and yetted her belly throwing her away. Double low quote you're just a nuisance he continued, as he used his force punches trying to eradicate her, while I rushed into the battle attacking Dark Master who avoided my attacks. Arrow's servant the white wolf protected his mistress, attacking white master why? In blame avoid mystica's attack trying to run away, as the demon girl tried to use her shadow tentacles to strangle and impel him, in blame of however swiftly avoid entanglement. The masses of air started moving faster, entangling dark master who was preparing for an all-powerful combo attack, gathering energy from the atoms of the air that surrounded him creating an invisible thick wall that repelled my attack. My blue energy the only thing revealing its structure. Sucking its power Dark Master was able to use it against shooting at me, forcing me back. Double low quote damn it. I shouted rushing away from that place, as my enemy was preparing powerful spell. Red energy beams shooted from the ceiling angle thing Dark Master comma who was able to create a whirlpool, controlling the energy spell with an amazing mastery. Making even me look at the show with off. Exploding the energy bomb covered large distances in amazing speed making me paralyzed with skok, as I was engulfed in this painful miasma concentrating my powers on deconcentrating the energy waves. Dark Master rushed quickly at me attacking with his cross ear dealing huge blows to my body, as I screamed and moved my hands forwards shooting energy waves in his stomach. Falling back and barely escaping this painful entanglement. Even thought my body was made of energy, I was able to feel the pain in all of the electrons that formed my manifestation. Just as, if my body was made from flesh, spiritual beings are capable to control energy in such way that it recreates entire proteins and my body not only looked familiar but to a certain degree emulated its sensations, this being said in normal attack I was able to turn off the pain sensation at will. However in the case of Dark Master's spell it were the electrons themselves that were destabilized and in need of restructuring, responsible for the unbearing pain sensation I experienced. I tried to breathe regularly, as I avoided shoots from Dark Master, him being quite determined in putting me down, I moved my hand forward and in some kind of dual fashion fired power shoots at him comma forcing him to hide behind the column that was blasted to pieces. Crumbling and fading away point meanwhile mystically used her ravens to try and hit White Master, who used a silver shield to suck the energy logging mockingly at the blood child's attempt. Mystica rushed herself sending few kicks into the shield, jumping in very advanced speed, making it crack and then explode scalking White Master. 
who watched at the situation in horror, as the shield's silver shard flied away into the distance. In Blimo noticing his master's troubled situation, avoiding arrows wolves summoned a pink lighting and sent it to white master creating a pink shield. Running away quickly barely avoiding being bitten by arrows wolf. Mystica walked over to the pink shield looking at it angrily. White master smirking with superiority double low quote worthless creation. What can you do now? He asked mocking Mystica, who continued to look at the shield smirking herself, as her eyes shine brightly red. Indicating she was charging up spiritual energy into herself double low quote I wouldn't trust in that weak shield of yours. If I were you Mystica repeat gathering dark powers, making white master look at her with disquist double low quote what are you planning to do? You wretched shadow, he replied angrily. Double low quote I am the blood child of Beelzebub the lord of earth realm, the kin of the new scion and the god child of Baal, you shouldn't underestimate my power she replied chucking. Double low quote I bet your lord didn't tell you that. A shadow formed by one that is to become a living reincarnation of a god like Lord Beelzebub can wield powers of the third dimensions, ranging with the abilities of such as yourself who are also demonic shadows Mystica replied. White Master Mirelli rebuked her angrily double low quote how dare you lecture me. Don't compare yourself to such as I we were created by the real personified god. He screamed making Mystic a lot, as she continued her lecture double low quote you poor things weren't even told that. My my how and echoing of the master that is, the real gods and the true one god our collective consciousness formed from us all, the energy that created all of us is the god dot 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 there's no such thing as a personification of a god just a being that is chosen to represent and act as a god in the material or the spiritual realm, if such a being accepts its role it is imbued with the collective consciousness powers, and if it doesn't have a form it is granted a manifestation that closely resembles the one used by the collective conscious to communicate with the individuals, that individual becomes then an acting god or goddess and is called the child of god or the children of the gods dot dot dot, but since the real gods are just merely our collective conscious united from all living things how can it possess a personality instead it used the combined personification of all the living beings Mystica replied smirking. Double low quote your master is just one that decided to serve the greatest shadow come of the negative collective conscious that some call the Satan, but in no way that makes him a god, he's just a mere shadow that went too far and needs to be dealt with Mystica expressed in her intimidating voice, hoping to scare white master or making him doubt in entire master point Mystica looked angrily summoning her's entire powers comma golden miasmic forces quickly engulfed her forcing out into the air heating the area incredibly calm up hearing everything around them into a fiery miasma. Making even me look with awe on Mystica's attack, while trying to avoid Dark Master's light molds. Mystica's shape turned into green color covering her physical appearance, as she was trying to connect to the forces of nature I summoned earlier and create a powerful combo spell, annoyingly unlocking Yasumi's true personality, as the girl was able to wake up from her earthy persona. Meanwhile Missa attacks White Master with her ice frozen spells, sending two ice spheres that were easily deflected by White Master, comma, forcing Mystic to retreat, comma, the demoni to choose and stand up for our choices. They fear our freedom. The wisdom of ancient dimensions will triumph over money. This is the secret esoteric knowledge of East, the wisdom that defines reality and empty words or shell. We have eyes so we can't see, ears so can we hear, and nooses so we can't smell, and we were given our heads to think and use these things in combination to create a culture that redefines the way we live. This is what money fears. But because the higher professors will ignore this knowledge, many will be fooled into thinking this is idiocy and so the masses will dance the poisonous dance of death to the money whore's prestige. A chef that descent cook was made top chef in the system domain, so that he could brew poisons for the human hearth and this doctrine spreads. Seeds of decay unleashed by the horse then what is that Galamuth seeks to accomplish? Or is his ambition so wrong perhaps Galamuth's plan is merely to kill the treacherous top chef of the system domains. The true devil and patriarchal maniac that went beyond reason in exterminating love and trust humans once have had with each other. Such chef might as well be symbol for the mass media and the journalists that were made into mad and rabid dogs, that hunt for the poisonous meat, blood and despair. The young journalist was overcome with despair, and slight grief, as she was making her way throughout the azure and golden co somewhere in the corporate system horror's domains. 
gold in this social structures made itself a sanctus over profane, but in reality appeared root and decaying. Bribed with the blood of many workers, that barely made enough for fire bread and were forced to provide for the filthy horse, even with that what they made. The breakers of family and drunks were ever present where poor became oppressed. Bestiality of the male patriarchal alcoholics is the bestiality of the worst kind, rape humiliation and murder. The patriarchals enjoyed taking everything from others and then destroying the very little they left, and whenever someone dared to speak the truth, they were labeled as promoting hate speech and murdered on the spot. This is the world ruled by gold, extroversion and patriarchy the true domain of the system horse, the greed and lust that produced these offending golden co-orators and proclaimed itself the best of the living kind, despite producing Mirelli death. These liars were at times punished by the just dot but some decay cannot be prevented, as it too remains a natural process. The female journalist could feel the stench of greed, comma, and hear the true decay of these that considered themselves to be the rulers of all. It was time to make a choice again, whether to surrender to the false god which is money, or seek out the real true god that's nothing what they describe it to be. God is the absolute they cannot even begin to understand, equipped with the higher rationality that denies fulfillment to any desire. Suppressing human emotions, the system horse control the reproduction. This is the manifestation of power of these raised in patriarchy that became genocrats the opposite of matriarchy, comma, where a woman becomes a controller of life and not a life creating force. This is the terror of the system horse. Extroverted regimes that calculate everything into profit. Denying self-expression, making it a crime sexual repressions and destruction of the weaker biological organisms and forcing them into a labor. Slaves of the modern era, the hypocritical dreams of the wealthy CEOs born in the luxurious wombs of the horse. The controlling of spirituality by creating religion, a priest acts accordingly to the wishes of the money man. This is what happens in all the cults and organized religion centers. This is the price that was paid by the Judah Iscariot the 30 silvers. A symbol of betrayal and the sacrifice of Jesus from Nazareth, to serve as a warning to never trust money and its elites. Fire words will always remain poison and be full of lies. The poor pope owns an entire bank, a rich person cannot become poor, even if he or she ever wanted it. For fire lives are not theirs to dispose, fire slaves of the money the true god that controls the system and its horse. The tragedy of the rich, when they cannot get more, the rich are just enough to be considered as parasites drinking the fluids of the working class, when there was a philosophy that would create an world friendly to the masses and not to the higher elites. They turned these into regimes, so that everyone that thinks alike would be labelled as a dangerous individual, wanting to oppress human rights. The rights of the elites to steal everything from the higher slaves. The holy right of whoredom which cannot be denied the system horse are the elites of this and any other worlds, the capitalists, the leaders, the celebrities and everyone else that serves Lord Money. The dance of the horse, the terrible etude played by blood, wars and hate. Dalamuth's desire included the eradication of these factors in order to create the perfect utopia. He saw the current states of the world as decaying and unworthy of further existence. The female journalist has still not reached her choice, perhaps she couldn't understand the right path she should take, or perhaps, because all of the choices were forced onto her. Being forced into making critical decisions, despite the fact she used to be an ordinary corporate slave just few days ago. Born from an precisely choose pull of genes, with planted information in her DNA strains, which decided about her looks and programmed her personality, just nothing more than a biological robot, and yet with a God-given soul, something the system whores couldn't program. But something they always wanted to suppress, to control the spirit and subject it to matter. Was not only the dream of the seers who created her, but also the main goal. This is why her parents were given specific diets and were examined medically, fire DNA controlled without them even knowing them. Programmed by simple regularities and repetitiveness and hearths closed by idle chatter. Nevertheless there was always some failures that we the spiritual side could exploit. These individuals that became introverted as a result of DNA manipulation, were errors that became troublesome for the horse, therefore they became subjected to more pressure controlling thought fear. Nevertheless the computer networks became the freedom centers and helped us to contact these individuals. This is how we created working environments that allowed us to enter these social groups. 
This is the place this corporate journalist turned to find some answers. She was thinking about the purpose of a certain scientific discovery. The Necroid Research Program that was carried out by the Science Research Department of Polandia in the year 4303 was the leading discovery of its time. Proving that the spiritual realm is an energy dimension that expands over entire material reality like a river connecting different pockets into a single biological and metaphysical organism. A structure that was later identified as God. This scoped the society but nevertheless had a very small impact on the global population. Even the resurrection of the dead that was carried out by these skilled engineers was treated more as a curious natural phenomena. This was done in the era where such naturally occurring phenomena was already well documented and constituted public knowledge. The plans of galactic colonizations were of more concern to these living there, as Earth was reaching its maximum potential, and the mineral and energy trade with neighboring civilizations brought billions of profits. Nevertheless the research proved to be important and would define the future structure of the world, that would be unlike anything, before Kama the new scion was born. The new era of life based on the very energy that created all life. Was this God's own power that defined the future of many generations? The insight into the very power that created us. The ancient voice that spoke to the researchers for the very first time. Double low quote The tragedy that surrounds such a fragile body seems to shallow the deepest soul, for such tragedies make the human ability to slowly deteriorate. So what has thy done to deserve such a tragic life of sadness, for thy has not lifted a finger against thy kin? So many paths of tragedy but I shall not fall to the deepest of the abyss, for thy has kept the soul apart from the darkness of hate and the crimes of hate. For thy am but a passing creature in this grand world. For what is thy without such brilliant beauty of the round blue sphere named Earth? The dance of live and the shower of light, the bright smiles is that we forgotten, why have we abandoned these? Why have we corrupted our minds? For what we forsaken our joy why surrounded by such grief at which kin have used against thy life, by nay like the raindrops that fall of the sky, thy eyes trail like roads of endless tunnels, for thy life has worsened thy strength, for such status has brought forth thy betrayal and thy tragedies thy is the beauty of thy kin who have fallen deep within the endless dark abyss that has begun by such desires against our kin 106 children are to save the world in its need, does the world need only 106 children? to be saved. Come forth the bringers of light, awaken the ancient flames that will engulf this decaying world. I call on you the that brings salvation reveal to us our desires, show the shining path toward our salvation, O thy children of Mother Earth. Awaken from the slumber and repel the darkness that lies in our hearth point whispering in the wind are many words that we have long forgotten to understand, for our ignorance has grown and has blinded our sense of knowledge. The trees now stand low and the gust of the wind blows away their leaves for there was a time, when we humans sat next to them to hear the lessons of their old knowledge before our time, the journalist stood in awe, as she never experienced this before, planet earth was calling back the higher children, God and the ancient spirits called these that belonged to this ancient race, to return to the way of the higher predecessors. From now on the choice was simple it was the only right choice to make. She turned away and left the futuristic palace of gold. She abandoned the system whores and the corporation that raised her, she left and thrown away that false life, looking for a new fate in the darkness of space. Where the new light was gathering point meanwhile I was walking on the pink floor inside the ancient temple surrounded by the green mist, the battle was now over and I was trying to locate my friends. To continue our journey. Suddenly my path was blocked by our little and a bit incompetent sorceress. Miss Ahu with her usual nonchalance started another useless conversation, what's up, she asked smiling, gleefully, as I smiled a bit relieved that our youngest member was doing quite alright. Double low quote have you seen the rest? I asked being specifically worried about Yasumi, as I haven't seen her, since we separated. I was a bit worried, because this dimension was very unstable and only God knows, where we could be teleported, if it breaks apart. Lord Dalamuth was obviously busy with some power restructurization, as I could feel the streams of energy being reshaped into a new informational structure, I looked back at Missa and awaited her reply. No I haven't seen anyone, and I was worried dot dot it's good that I find you, let's search for others she said with a happy voice and a little bit of worried. 
I looked at her citing double low quote it's alright but don't run off on your own, stay by my side dot 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 by the way. Since we're at it, you could tell me a bit about yourself I replied acting in a bit thunderish manner, for no reason apparently. I was also quite interested in our mysterious but weak member, being wondered what happened to Dawn we meet earlier that suddenly disappeared. Thought I had a good idea about that, according to my one theory she simply remained locked in that last dimension, thought I was a bit concerned about whether we should find her and rescue from all this mess. I know, that Mystica was simply Beelzebub's blood child that assumed one of the characters, the spiritual archetype I used from time to time for different tasks. Thus the, once nameless identity became incarnated, as the character I used and therefore became kin to my little servant. Seems Beelzebub didn't have much concern about this single soul, thought whatever the man called Beelzebub or the collective known, as the Beelzebub Force, were the ones responsible for imprisoning Dalamuth was a matter of debate. I guess the guy Beelzebub who is the acting god Beelzebub in place of the collective consciousness that is the real Beelzebub god acted in accordance of the will of that specific collective. Well alright let me explain it a bit, there are two forms of god the spiritual and supernatural or alternatively the symbolic and the acting comma the real god is a name we use for a collective of consciousness, it's basically like all minds of all living beings connected into a single working entity, this connection can be based around a single idea, or whole, naturally all beings are connected to an infinite number of such structures that are represented, as different symbols, these symbols are what we came to understand as gods. And these are gods of the spiritual realm the symbolic god, now occasionally, because this improves things on a material level, and because basically it's more practical to have something as a resident god overseeing a selected material area, an individual from the collective will be selected to reincarnate or incarnate, as a direct material representation of a given collective consciousness, he or she and sometimes it, becomes then the gods of legends or myths the supernatural entities that are acting gods, these are the gods were used to. This beings can of course appear in different forms most of them would be immortal and posses grester by energetic capabilities than normal humans or living beings, they may also be born using a direct fusion of energy rather than the traditional method of being born by the species that I are meant to work with. In fact a case when a member of a species gains access to collective or is meant or even allowed to represent the collective creates a different being that is called a messenger. It's one of the most common methods thought this descent grant the being any powers and often is basically an added value to certain individuals who either simply choose working with the spiritual realm by themselves and thus eventually gain this knowledge or are born with an open door to it, instead of the abilities being shut down for most of the being's carnal lives. Lord Yahweh and Lord Beelzebub are the most known examples, where in fact Baal Collective and Yahweh are the same collective, thought one structure is more representative of renal powers and the other suggests a more passionate and simplistic attitude concerned with simple religious practices of the ancient world. Lillian or Sophia is another side that is concerned with matriarchal and female sides of God and it's the primal structure I am connected to, making me its messenger. This in fact are all the same structure that are simply divided into smaller parts, these are gods that are one god, and the number of such structures is infinitive, thus spawning an infinitive number of gods which are all represented in one single god the creator. Some ancient cultures understood this mystery and even understood that the real gods are the members of this collective, thus giving the rise to animistic religions like Shintoism which actually describes this quite well. Occasionally these messengers can even use the collective powers, to become living energy beings this is how spirits are born and how the spiritual risen from the shadows this beings then become immortal and manifest in symbolic, archetype forms created by energy that represent them. They continue to be alive just like all material beings and transit time and space. Becoming the ever-wondering spirits just like in my case, these beings will continue to experience things just like they were alive and will be able to transform matter into energy as well as enjoy many things material beings are capable. By looking at them these beings do not look different from material beings, and the energy is able to mimic everything in detail, thought one key difference is that these beings will become introverted and will at times appear a bit smaller than they used to, colors might not be that vivid, as in real body thought represented realistically, these beings will not feel any strain or pain can easily defile any laws of physics, and survive in traditionally hostile environments like vacuum of space or extremely hot and cold temperatures.
shapeshift into any energetical form representation they will do, or continue to be represented by symbols and appear in photographies etc. Generally these spiritual beings are very similar, yet different from ghosts, which are beings of matter created to delay the passing into our side, or to be more precise aren't aware the fact they already passed into the spiritual realm. As the actual passing is simply death itself and it doesn't require going in any lights, or tunnels to get into a special place thought connecting with any forms of energy might get insights into new places a soul can wander off to, and places it can reincarnate into. Thought the reason sometimes ghosts appear is also a sign that it is quite permissible to be back in the material world after one has died. Thought, for the majority reincarnating into a spiritual energy form seems either not attractive or they don't have any idea of such opportunity, believing that once you're dead it's either over or they need to return to sickle of life. Which is at times more practical, as it allows most of the beings to experience different realities of both past and the future. All time is created in the same moment, some messengers however upon studying the natural pattern came to realization that there is a third option which involves the use of light, and tried to represent it in their teachings. Some of these include unknown individuals and others are well known as Muhammad or Jesus Christ, where the latter even sucks in forming an energy form of himself and now continues in this forms to teach and inspire different generations. Jesus Christ is indeed immortal. In fact the date of his true return on earth he prophesied was July 15th year 4303 in the Institute of Science of Polandia at approximately 11 a.m. He was connected by using the Lingendary Shroud of Turin, which contained his DNA and was still connected to his consciousness. It was one of many revolutions that stopped the world. Thought the full impact of this was debated for many centuries. Point after thinking so much, I realized I was still waiting for Mrs. Reply to my former question. Meanwhile, Yasumi had started to chant, and four bright orbs with the color of green, brown, blue, and red had appeared around her. Her voice was very soft but had started to become louder for each passing minute. Dot she was standing near one of the main columns that gathered pink aura composed of conructional energy. She herself was engulfed by dark winds that proceed to attack her with blue lightings, but she was barely bothered by it continuing her spell work point as, if those orbs have a mind of their own, they protected her and created an invisible shield for her. When they hit, small vibrations had only appeared on the shield and flowed down, until it disappeared. The energy was being diffused into the pink floor, while above the golden dragon observed both Yasumi and the priestess, closely eyeing Yasumi, as she was preparing that spell point it was my closest ally and a fail-safe mechanism. In response to Yasumi's spells it Shappa shifted changing colors into red, and made itself longer, enabling me and Misa to see it so that we could make our way to the place the priestess was sitting. Its only reason was to protect the priestess, from anyone that would try to kill her. The priestess sat on her throne and observed everything silently. The dragon flew above Yasumi majestically making his presence known to her, reminding to not try anything that would interrupt my operation. It made its way past the columns observing the battle that was being fought further away. White master shoot white beams at Mystica who swiftly avoided being shot, her eyes shined in red, having a diabolical madness inside. The little girl was a true incarnation of darkness, and the dragon felt it should keep an eye on her as well. Meanwhile we were walking nearby some columns not being bothered by any enemies, when Missa decided to finally talk about herself double low quote Missa is just a normal girl, okay dot dot not so normal, she is a witch and a vampire at the same time, with really creepy and dark mind, but that doesn't mean she is bad dot 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 so yay, she is very positive most of the time, but when she is angry, you shouldn't be around her dot 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 she spent most of her life in Bulgaria, a small country nearby Romania. So dot dot dot, since she was little, she discovered that she has magical powers, and soon she can control everything around her. Also after a month, she realized, why she is so pale, and most of the time she sleeps when it's day, and why she hates sun raises dot dot she is a vampire too. So, one day she was outside, when the moon was full comma searching for some adventures. 
She met Blaze Master, she replied smiling cheerfully, as I looked back at her double low quote so that's your story, all in all you just happened to pass by one of these portals Galamath randomly created and got sucked in, way to go, he'll need to send you back to Bulgaria when it's all over then I smiled replying looking around, as the colorful mist became dense dot the area was becoming noisy, as different densities came together. I was trying to analyze these strange patterns all over again, trying to understand Lord Scalamoth's methods. His never-ended quest reminded me of myself. Why were these strange patterns so familiar to the ones I used? This question suddenly formed in my head point a rising suspicion to whether certain spells couldn't be copied from myself. Who was Scalamoth and what were his real intentions? This mystery intrigued me. There was something very familiar to this event, just as, if this all was scripted before, written a long time ago. Did all of this were just some kind of farce to test me, why did it appear, as such as it was all staged by someone? Sometimes weakness overcame me, creeping into my mind, slowing down my thoughts making them ineffective, why couldn't I make the appropriate connection to understand this mystery, to resolve this matter? Why were the answers to that question so unbashriachable? The lights danced to the ethereal music creating, birds from fire, the colorful energies uniting on a molecular level, joining each other, as pieces of a single puzzle creating an incredible spectacle above myself. I slowly made my way towards the golden door, a pathway to our new destination or a mysterious trap. The door had strange emblems engraved into it, these Egyptian signs told an ancient story about how the early gods were supposed to come to earth. In ancient times before the modern society ever existed, people lived in matriarchal tribes, all was family. There was no wars, except few small skirmish not because of supremacy, but because territory. Food was scarce mostly grown and winters harsh, people lived in a huge forest all was surrounded by trees. The trees themselves were the first people homes. These trees hold a mystery, a mystery of life not understood to the modern man. Because inside these trees a life force was being grown, not just because of the all living beings that occupied the bark, but also by the fact that the entire planet was a large transformator of cosmic energies, allowing ancient to channel and communicate with distant worlds. In a single breeze the wind carries millions of energetical impulses to fade to be felt, but capable to detection by certain modern devices, these hidden impulses symbolized as faces on the mysterious door, where the souls and minds of intelligent beings that both used to live on our planet and on planets far away. These voices were the first thing the ancient humans heard, these were the gods of the ancient land. The deities that would become the source of all these myths and in Thayer visions, Thayer own home planets transferred to the mind of the primitive that would forever become the image of both heaven and hell. The pathway to entire new galaxies stood in front of me, its insight glowing on purple, a very bright light. The ancients viewed this as an entry to celestial homes, the ancients worshipped this revelation and this single impulse created all religions. When the continent shattered and land divided into the modern continents, this knowledge was divided becoming diverse it took hold of Europe and Asia creating multiple regions that originated in the Middle East. The triangle of the system was set, the dark sphere of influence of money, which later spread to Americas and the rest of the world. All religion fanatism was born from a single ray of hope and yet none prevailed. However the people were eventually able to open their eyes and understand the message, that Minrelli said that we're not alone. In the future some created the spiritual society eventually learning to use the mysterious forces, thus giving life to all the myths humanity created. Connecting the cycle of creativity. The cycle of life and immortality, the greatest cycle known to man. The ancient gods thus were not only collective consciousness but also humanity's own ancestors that used the mysterious quantum mechanic to transfer images, to say that, double low quote we're still there and you never alone, we your ancestors watch over you and your generations and we will always be here ever present, guiding this young human race, so no one ever walks alone for there is always at least two of us, to guide each newly born child and there is plenty this was the message, they all were trying to say. The message that sings joy in the entire universe and yet so many fail to hear it all, why don't they hear the words that are over the air? Perhaps it's, because the capitalists don't listen to anybody, they think that only the money horse have the right to freedom and fire own revolutions, to create wars and decide who is the aggressor. 
just like the country known once as Ukraine which overtaken by the system horse, tried to create a government for the capitalists and the system. To create a new golden capital, after they destroyed the land of Poland and took all of the Polish resources, especially capital, the only resource of the money horse is the money they create and the lies they spread. Who knows, whether it's really, as that bad thing, for them to take that and create an entirely new society based on a never seen level of greed. The system horse dominated the Ukraine trying to set the new Babylon there, this would be the kingdom of the whore of Babylon, the system whore the personification of which was to be released from the jail, in which she was imprisoned by the righteous who deemed her greed a very serious threat to world peace. This woman was the true demon in human skin, a consciousness so depraved that it could create more harm than even Lord Scalamoth's ambitions. For greed is the most terrible sin of them all, the lust connected with envy, this woman had it all, the business and money and yet the only thing she desired was destruction and annihilation. This was the true evil dressed in white she demanded admiration for the gold she created was a powerful tool. This evil persona would become the dictator of the new world order. All in all charming just like the true devil should be, dastardly thoughts hidden behind a polite smile. This was this woman's charm, she wasn't a decaying corpse, nor a powerful necromancer. She was merely an ignorant human and yet she was capable to create this evil, and to become a perfect vessel to the whore of Babylon. For many she would remain a charming persona and even a loving mother, for in all these things her love to her children weren't false they were to become the heirs of the new order. A polite person that secretly moved this forces in motion and created a deadly chain of events, death to Ukraine and death to world, the woes were geared for the money whores were now in control of the higher government. The kingdom of the Babylon were to come next, this would be, when humanity would learn despair, for the prophecies mocked so loudly came to pass in the middle of the night. Of Poland so mighty that it would engulf the world in flames, a new revelation that came to pass. This was the foundation for this unique war of human thoughts comma that created these energies. The divine world order so small, literally the heavens were under our nose for what we understood, as distance could be also translated, as size, and by changing the size one could enter into the space between the molecules and to read, the fade waves of signals that created this divine border. The spiritual realm that like a lake engulfed all of reality was in the very air we breathe. This is, why the trees were able to magnify these fade signals and to transfer this knowledge into the ancient minds that created this whole reality. In the molecules there is divine energy and by these quantum molecules all live exists, as the information transferred, creates a divine network, transmitting knowledge and entire personalities into every place possible, such is the great power of the universe which is engulfed in ancient chains of information, DNA and everything else is a pre-programmed matter, that is maintained by the divine collective that, maintains this complex structure information never disappears, it only transfers from one state to another this is the truth about human death. The demonic princess dressed in white was just smiling, Mystica was enjoying herself engulfed in the darkness created by the madness of Lord Dalamuth. The manifestation of the little girl moved forward, being herself an irony the essence of darkness dressed in pure white. The child appeared innocent and her red eyes shined in a teasing manner. She used the character I created for myself long time ago to aid myself in my mission, but it was the first time a real consciousness was assigned to the form of mystic of the consciousness that was of the Vault Collective and was formally used to bind Dalamuth into an illusionary realm. The trap of oblivion and eternal prison of a dream-like reality used comma in order to resocialize the truly corrupt personalities of man, or to show all the wrongdoings they committed. This could be considered hell but as well it could be a paradise reality of eternal limbo that grew and it all the desires. For physical. Life is not the only form the soul can take, choosing to exist in the form of the impulse, it can still observe and manifest reality, it is even able to influence the reality, as we know in the material I was one of such prime examples, the second being Mystica who was the true embodiment of an illusion, the princess of illusion that just like me existed due to imprinting ourselves in the material quants to form a fully printed out three-dimensional material holograms that were able to interact with the material beings. To make love, eat and even kill. As energy itself can be used for both goodness and evil. 
It could however be neutralized using plasma disruptors or a neutral field of quantum energy that would rewrite the quants and neutralize the material energy of the spiritual entity, the same methods we used to combat ourselves. While it doesn't kill the spiritual entity it neutralizes it making the being disappear or rendering it harmless, a safety measure developed by both the spiritual realm and the system to protect both worlds. However, since even material resurrection was possible by this point of time, the spiritual entities were often considered as nuisance rather than serious threat point still with knowledge being limited. The stories of demons were often useful to submit the corporative population into submission point just like fairy tales of the old world, I think that certain produces. Don't change over time, people are always afraid to accept strange things, and this fear is easy to manipulate by corporate greed. Would system not use any dirty tricks to obtain its supremacy, the gold despite changing its form, from a mere orb still continued to influence the world's politics this time in electronic form. As digital currency thus, energy served to masters, for us being the very source of our existence the means to transfer information and for them, being the way to transfer information about their wealth and status. That's why it was natural for a conflict to develop in this matter as to which doctrine would prevail, and to which doctrine would the individual belong to. One of the choices this world suggested. Of course both sides would revert to dirty tactics at time, and propaganda, but facts do not change this was the eternal war. That would never end, as you cannot destroy the modern society that continues to grow, making both the system and our civilization evolve, that's why this war would last being a perpetual conflict. For where there is a group, there always be individuals that oppose or are outcasted from the group, and naturally they create their own group, and there's always racism and nationalism that despite its name does nothing to protect the nation they claim to come from. This was more relevant in older eras but a new form of corporative nationalism took its place, fanatical allegiance to the corporation that owned your life was to be the duty of you, who was born, as a corporative slave in this advanced future of mega-civilization. Would you have the courage to reach out to the darkness to find light, most likely you would consider this insane. So even in this advanced reality the general human population lived in ignorance, of the ways things really are. But there were these that belonged to our civilization, discovering the lies of the system whores and fair materialistic doctrine. Of course it would be a lie to say that on our side there's no nationalism as well, despite the fact that we all belong to the single collective consciousness, called the God this God is divided into smaller collectives that themselves, might be divided into smaller groups etc. For example in the God Collective we have the Lilith Collective, Baal Collective, Yahweh Collective, my own tiny fraction comma Lord Dalamuth's fraction etc which like material fractions in the system most often follow their own agenda, you might consider these, as parties that even have elected leaders, this is what the acting gods are essentially, each collective can even have billion of these that create their own fraction in the same collective, and even the so-called servants of these acting gods, are like real leaders or idols, most often they hold the status of the idols in order to attract the faithful to their cult and include them in their collective, which would make it odd that Ball's collective granted me a blood child, since I am a rival double loco political leader and such actions are very uncommon. Usually a being would switch collectives, however it would mean losing the status, while being a member of two collective organizations is very uncommon, but then I wasn't really a good politician myself, and my collective isn't really, as that impressive I use the power of the entire God collective and the only member of my group to this point was Alpha and Omega who herself was just an interface of the collective. Hence after billions of years or even longer I acquired a second member. Perhaps it was something of a consolidation prize from Lord Belzebub, as I often helped him and the others gather fire faithful, not that I ever was obstructed from interacting with the members of the other collectives. Mystica was therefore an official blood child of Beelzebub meaning, she was very familiar to royal guard, or elite operatives the ones I often fought against, and the ones that composed an elite army of Lord Beelzebub and usually followed his orders alone, and yet Mystica was mine to command, as the form the consciousness took was the character I developed and had complete control of. Mystica could be considered defective for Beelzebub, as she didn't undergo special training, but had a lot of potential. However above all it was a clean and pure entity having not been indoctrinized by Beelzebub and in an essence abandoned to my favor, while the rest was reclaimed. 
the reason of which at first wasn't perfectly understood to me, as consciousness is a valuable resource in the spiritual world, it's an essence of a living entity. Point. While I had many real-life friends and lovers they as well as myself belonged to different collectives, and while some not always could be aware of it the others followed the orders and the will of the collectives accordingly, others rebelled and a majority also belonged to the system, with which certain collectives even have political alliances. How do you think religions came to be in the first place? Do you think religions were constructed just by people, no nope, entire collectives which are a powerful organizations of minds numbering often more than just a single galaxy, transmitted spiritual knowledge that manifested into a lot ancients accepted as gods. Thus in reality it all came from other civilizations that were more advanced than ourselves, worth to notice however that collective is not the same as civilization, each collective is a combined intelligence of billions or comma more civilizations that share certain spiritual values, each entity, even if aware and actively serving one collective in reality has contact with unlimited collectives. Each collective creates new souls by combination, however each soul can defect to any collective it desires, thought and like defecting from a simple organization it can take eons of years and evolution, and only in very rare cases happens rapidly. So technically Mystica was still a member of the Ball Collective, however her assignment was to be a member and not a spy in my tiny fraction, still it probably mostly, because my double low quote collective could essentially be treated as a part of any true collective. Since politically speaking I had little to say, but still holding the self-proclaimed title of the Count of Chaos, which is worth to notice I cannot use the title of the Lord. Thought it could be used to myself as well it's basically like being a monarch without the country. Thought I still hold its familiar powers as the acting gods and had the same knowledge and the access to the source. Hence, why I could perform work not many in the universe were capable of. Spiritual entities and the acting gods aren't politically speaking normal leaders, or at least not in the closed form you normally assume, or see in the system domain point in fact, while collectives can appear on the outside to operate as a party or political institutions, the most powerful one even politically control entire galaxies with armies, they are not frankly speaking like the political organizations they are more intense in a form one feels union with and most often work independently from the system world's authorities which by itself is also a collective hence it's perfectly normal for Beelzebub to even control an unlimited number of ordinary looking organizations and small parties that on the outside belong also to the economical world. One might not even know which organization operates to whom, as the members of the collective are spread in the entire universe, and it's not uncommon for even espionage to be encountered. Even if the planet is owned by Beelzebub there still will be present organizations that work for Yahweh, and entire galaxies might even switch collective owners by wars or intestinal conflicts. Spiritual entities aren't like closed politicians will most often interact with civilian population seducing in order to collect members. Why do you think the great gods are so willing to answer ordinary people and will often take time to develop certain strategies that allow them to personally interact with each individual? This is, because in this strategic warfare you also are the resource. Yes you the reader that reads this is also the part of my fraction or at least a temporal member. Even I share this knowledge in order to include you in my universal party. You will be a member even thought you will never ever hear or meet any one of us in your entire life. That is true didn't you know, that you already belong to a very powerful collective. God now you're afraid how will your life change? When you know all of this ellipsis points point well the answer will be simple it won't change ellipsis points point you will still live your ordinary life in fact, you wouldn't even know about such politics taking place right under your nose dot 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 yet, if you felt depressed then know this whatever or whoever you are, you are valuable being such valuable that entire universal wars are fought in order to attach you to different collectives to make you a member of it. You are so important that the most powerful spiritual leaders will take time to meet you, talk with you and even have sex with you. Dot 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 yeah right that is true, just ask and you will receive just pray to the God and you will receive, because you are so important that even this story is written and published without any profit on the internet. This is reality so never lose hope. However now you understand my position and in a sense can witness for yourself how this powerful war is thought, one that can literally decide the shape of the entire universe, its collectives to also compete with each other and will most likely fight powerful battles and at times I am myself fighting this war. 
I am the neutral and independent count of chaos that fights this battle for every individual, and while help anyone not expecting any reward, and perhaps this is the task I was assigned, when I was born into the mortal shell. So do not be afraid to be yourself and aspire to greatness that is inside you. Perhaps I follow the design of a tiny little consciousness, after all what is an earthly pope compared to an acting god, that prayed to the ultimate collective asking for a soul that would revolutionize his land, a humble request answered by the universe itself the universe that has yet to manifest its own will to humanity, and yet the universe that is very present with all earth lives, controlling it and being its source. This is the power of oblivion the magnitude of it cannot be easily comprehended. The spiritual entities could also be referred to, as aliens in fact all of it comes from space throughout a sophist network based on telepathy between different entities, and entire cosmic mega-civilizations, here lies the secret of religion and knowledge that was passed to this day by secret cult members that now has the ability to reach out to the light of sun, and to the eyes of the modern man, the leaders of Nazi Germany knew this as well, the system horse were operated by a man that was essentially an acting god in training, and World War II might as well been a failed attempt at creating a spiritually advanced civilization ellipsis points a failed, because it had nothing to do with spirituality at all instead Hitler himself was merely used by the system horse in hopes of creating a powerful everlasting system horse domain that would be fueled by the very powers of God itself. This failed miserably just like the Babel Tower project, demonstrating that money can never use spirituality and demonstrating in an essence that the entity called Hitler could be compared to a cosmic child, that Morelli wanted to play this fun earthly game called war and domination. Not conscious of the misery and sorrow it brought and not entirely understanding the day-to-day human reality it lived or was forced to live in dot 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 it basically creating what it found to be the most amusing thing on the planet, and recreated its own world in the most closest way possible, for the humanized version of itself that was known as Hitler, however the spiritual entity Hitler isn't the man Hitler, as these two are very different despite being the very same person dot 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 the difference is in fact a different of species, as a person Hitler was somebody else concerned with material issues and basically a man, as a spiritual entity entity it is. Also a very different being that has knowledge and understandings of its actions. Spiritual entities aren't also able to feel anger and intense emotions remaining calm, due to the fact that they do not possess a nervous system, being akin to robots or even quantum robots, they can however act out fair personal traits, that are a part of fair characteristics or were a part of fair human characteristics. All spiritual entities are asexual, as they use quantum forms that are basically material holographs, and therefore they don't feel any anxiety in terms of sexuality seeing it as only sexual stimulation, they enjoy sexual intercourse, as experienced sometimes using the fact that are humanoid to experience sex with entities, that were out of that are reached during that are human lives, for example celebrities, royalty or people with whom one might have unrequited love relationships who might now be open for the experience. Most spiritual entities are taught sexual stimulation in the collective's organizations and consider it an important tool in their relationships with humans point as it allows to exert some form of control over their human subordinate or even other spiritual entities, and can be both a sign of friendship and fellowship as well as a sort of payment, or used to initiate spiritual relationships. There is no rape between spiritual entities and a human cannot rape a spiritual entity due to the fact that you cannot sexualize an asexual being calm or every sexual intercourse is seen by these entities as sexual stimulation and has no indirect meaning for them, as they don't feel sexuality in the human manner. Spiritual entities don't reproduce, as they are merely using an unlimited number of quantum-based material holographs to interact with humans and interactions with such quantum projection has little overall meaning to them. It's very common for spiritual entities to provoke sexual interactions, as there is no sexual consequences. In mega-civilization such behavior is treated as asexuality and is considered a sexual orientation on the same level as bisexuality and homosexuality. Asexuality under mega-civilizational law is understood as sexual attraction to non-sexual beings, such as humanoids or robots, 
thought it must be noted that all these beings must remain as humanoids and not be able to reproduce sexually dot 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 and it's not the same as sexual attraction to alien non-humanoidal and sexual beings that can be treated as a form of bestiality and can lead to different legal consequences unless these species do have a humanoidal form point in legal terms all humanoids that reproduce sexually and can have children after mating with humans are considered as human and are protected legally as any humans would be however All entity that assume a human form but cannot reproduce sexually and are asexual, also all human looking robots are treated as humanoids, and are freed from sexual laws about rape prevention, due to lack of sexual damage such as unwanted, pregnancy. Sexually transmitted disease risks the fact of it being machine or spiritual entity. Also asexual beings cannot consent to sexual interaction, meaning that all sexual interaction with an asexual being is only treated as sexual stimulation due to both lacking any legal effect. This means that humans cannot marry spiritual entities, thought they can form companionships that is automatically formed after sexual intercourse has taken place, since an asexual humanoid cannot give a consent to sexual activity, as it only can sexually stimulate a sexual being, once an sexual interaction takes place between an asexual and sexual they form companionship, that could be defined as an open marriage and such a spouse can generally even inherit or be granted the rights of the spouse automatically without any other legal requirements dot 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 having a sexual intercourse with an asexual descent imply cheating unless a marriage contract included the notion of abstaining from sexual interactions with asexuals thought in case of spiritual entities most sexual interactions with humans are just casual and they quickly move on to the next object of interest dot dot while humanoids can inherit fortunes after they are human spouses and there were numerous of instances of the acting goddess Lilith for example inheriting fortunes and corporations that belong to her human lovers. The reason why Lilith Collective is considered as one of the most effective in the entire universe, they generally stand in a lower position in the house, if a lover pauses to human spouse or any children. This law was created in order to ensure that finances and legal matters could be handled even after the death of a person that had no relatives, and the notion of companionship was introduced in order to justify making a humanoid like a female or male robot as a spouse, and making it an legal entity that owns the house, mostly for the possibility of selling, buying or handling monetary issues. This right includes any asexual beings one might have intimate contacts with and live with them in one's own home. Spiritual entities are therefore taught about these issues and make themselves available to any forms of relationships with humans, whether it be friendship or a more intense sexual union. However one must realize the laws described here are merely a more generalized version that actually only represents the mega-civilization as its whole, and generally local corporations might have their own regulations dot dot dot, where rights might not be granted to non-humans, making the whole issue complex and bureaucratic, and are only implemented fully in selected circumstances or cases of emergency, however once implemented cannot be revoked. For example naming a spiritual entity a queen of Poland is also irreversible and carries legal and political meaning, being one of the reason why the nation of Poland became the basis for mega-civilization. This being said having sexual intercourse in order to make a humanoidal a sexual entity, as a companionship isn't legally required and one can grant it in a will or it can be granted by an arbitrary legal comedy in selected circumstances, comma, for example in a case where there's no sexes or to lead a monarchy, comma, this can transform into a divine monarchy, if the rights are granted to a spiritual entity, or remain a monarchy, dot, 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 also the transfer of rights and ownership of higher economical domains is mostly symbolical and allows for these entities to be treated as legal representatives. A divine monarchy is exceptionally popular and the rights are often granted to these beings that were once rulers of said realms, thought there are also cases where random spiritual entities were selected just for the sake of forming such an divine monarchy. The divine monarch is basically a representative of the state and might possess its own army and administration. One of the examples of the divine monarchy is in fact Yahweh as the dictator of mega civilization, where his divine regime coexists with a capitalistic democratic government and apart from the eternal dictator, it also has a democratic president that is elected every once in a while 10 to 15 earth years. Meanwhile the dragon flew in the ceiling off the temple roaring viciously, as Mystica was making her way towards myself. 
her eyes glowing in red, Black Ravens attacked a tiny figure, that was revealed to be Emblemo, who defended himself with light spell, which he activated beforehand by moving his hands forward, making the Black Raven disintegrate, multiplying in force, as Emblemo used an green energy shield to protect himself from the dark powers point that were shouted out of the Black Raven's beaks, and repelled on the green shield's surface point Emblemo eyes shined in orange, as he was trying to activate mentally a complex spell, but obviously failed due to Mystica's constantly interfering. With that attempt, suddenly violet shots were fired on the ground separating Mystica from Emblemo and enabling him to escape, as I myself was trying to avoid being shot at comma the dragon attacked the rectangular mini turrets comma with its own orange flames making them explode one by one, the noise of these explosions were carried by the numerous echoes that were created due to unseen force fields being activated and reflecting the noise, making the impression that the entire shrine would crumble comma I even jumped back motivated by these sounds, before I Realized what was really happening and remembering that I am still technically immortal, I suddenly found myself shoot at with green energy current and I mentally activated an defense barrier that deflected the energy wave, moving my hand to the attacker that was White Master and sending calm energy bullets out of my hands hoping to distort his quantum image, as he merely deflected these at the columns and moved faster at me, trying to hit me. As I run back avoiding his punches and kicking him in the face making him fall back and hit the nearby column destroying it. He then activated energy lightings on the floor forcing me to jump and attack the lightings, in mid-air making them explode, as White Master observed it impressed. I looked at my foe annoyed not understanding his true motives, while White Master was Minrelli stalling for time, as Dark Master escorted the Mute Priestess away from the shrine. I sent Scopwads and tried to attack White Master, who was skillfully avoiding being hit and was able to throw some iron grenades, forcing me to escape by jumping above them and shielding myself with a pink barrier against the iron blast, that could distort me. It was able to distort my shield, as I used an energy wave to hit White Master, who screamed annoyed before sending a Scopwad comma that I barely avoided. Energies were dispersed very quickly creating Scopwads, forcing me to jump away. Yasumi was still in the same spot, her mind spinning and in pain when suddenly, she felt this strange sensation. It wasn't a natural recovery, it seemed like it was magic. Someone was helping her. It was the dragon construct I deployed earlier that now shined in red and orange, and tried to growl signalizing Galamuth's attempt at changing the spell constructs that controlled this dimension. The energy patterns were slowly dissolving, and the dimension was undergoing a transformation. The world we were inside was a powerful holographic construction, a true dimensional fortress, with a powerful dimensional labyrinth, and this was why Galamuth was so casual about myself being inside. The rays of energy were transferred inside the molecular structures following the tiny nanonides of an unknown chemical components. These were then energetized and reformed in a truly spectacular fashion. This was powerful magic at work. The one that could control such an spiritual construct was truly mastermind. No wonders it took me so long just to get inside, but I could a well end up lost for eternity there as well. Galamuth based the construction on the very prison he spent most of his existence, being sent there by his former pupils Belzebub and Yahweh, as a result of an ancient war he tried to provoke. Lord Galamuth felt contempt for his traitorous students and vowed revenge, not understanding the true reasons they turned against him. The dimensional construct shifted, as my dragon became absorbed and slowly faded away. My chain was unable to hold to this particular location, as it slowly started dissolving and changing into a new one. White Master disappeared, as he was being called back by his own lord, Mystic being a bit angry trying to follow him but instead was engulfed in a blue aura and screamed in pain falling to her knees, waving my hands in her direction I was able to dissolve the blue flames that vanished freeing her from the torment. Double low quote it would seem he doesn't want you to follow I replied smiling a bit and looking back at the pillar near which Yasumi was standing. Double low quote wretched shadow he thinks he can escape. Mystica screamed angrily making me wonder a little bit why she was so anxious about getting him. Thought ignoring the fact for now I made my way towards Yasumi and looked around for Erika and her little sister. I was worried by the fact that her presence suddenly disappeared during all of the confusion. 
The darkness started slowly falling the area however not in the place we were, the location looked like a tunnel and in that tunnel a girl was running she was terrified what the, where am I uh, left square bracket she screamed, while running and being hit in the head comma she fell and down and corrected her brown hairs and looked around, as tears were falling down into her blue cloths don't tell me. That I, she stopped and started inhalating faster realizing that she still remained alive in some way, but not being sure, suddenly lights fold the area becoming more brighter and annoying the young maiden gosh, what's with this freaking bright lights wait a minute, is that my picture in the middle surrounded with flowers and, and, she continued her monologue and looked at the unseen being terrified, what she saw was gruesome to her and very unpleasant, there she was lying in a brown coffin, her corpse was lying there and it looked, as if she was sleeping I am dead. I'm inside of my coffin and this is my funeral. She started feeling something not a voice was calling her it hurted, because the voice was like a squeech, she didn't know, whether it was energy or human, but there was something scary to that voice and slowly she could see images of the fortress we were inside, she started to be aware what with this noise. They are very loud. Someone, coming dot 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 I am so sorry what had happened to your daughter. She turned around looking back at the place she come from hearing her mother cry and people comforting her, this scene was cancelling the other noise and she continued looking with disbelief on her face and feeling the wet tears but she started wondering whether these tears were real. Hoping for it all to be dream isn't she my mother. My stepmother dot 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 oh god, she. She. Master what's the map dot 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 tur dot 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 mit dot 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 mit dot 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 suki. Point. Is that you? She started seeing a bleak figure that slowly materialized on her eyes. She was a verhelm cause she could sense the person even. Before she appeared she stared straightly stare at the people that started appearing. Mitsuki. That's imposable. You rise from death you. You one of the red eye monster. Call the others. Immediately. Yes master. The girl smiled scoffed looking back at the other one and replied what? Re dot 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 red eyed monster. Am I not a ghost? I'm. What am I? What you call me, priest? She turned around to a priest-like figure that was revealed to be Dark Master that standed in Seulens trying to retrieve these souls along with the mute priestess and take them back to Lord Dalamuth, but the girl was scared and walked back stop right there. You monster. You have their blood and now you are one of them. Berg. A bullet sounds were heard, as the images switched to Dark Lord Dalamuth himself fled in a distance observing the scene being a bit anxious, as he believed the girl possessed something precious that was necessary for his plan, however another man interfered appearing, just as Lord Dalamuth was trying to walk forward and grab the girl's hand be gone spirits of the past leave this space commanded Lord Dalamuth, as he was trying to use his illusions, as deception and was blocked by an unknown factor a man with called eyes walked. Past the Lord of Darkness who was annoyed that the girl could call on a family member to come to her rescue, he found this bound annoying darling dot 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 a Tory dash Sam of the man replied, as Galamuth asked annoyed who is this poor soul, he looked at Dark Master who was surprised himself that man, he's my dad the girl replied happily, while Galamuth smirked evingly dad you're not Mitsuki from a Tory house, you're a monster that we sent into the past down from generations to generations. Dalamuth replied hoping to break the girl's resolve by revealing her origin to her no, no. That can't be. I'm a vam. Vampire. Blood-sucking monster. I dot 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 I, the girl was searching for a place to escape of, there. The girl screamed and rushed into a hole that started to slowly opening, she without hesitation jumped to something that appeared to be a mini black hole and was quickly teleported to our location, much to Dalamuth's dismay. It's very troublesome that all of my subjects are so unpredictable, we should find better personalities to plant the fruits of my experiments Dalamuth proclaimed, as he vanished along with Dark Master to return to a more secure location taking the mute priestess with them meanwhile the girl continued her journey, understanding that her life was about to take, as she too took part in this eternal struggle, and joined our fight against the maniacal obsessions of Lord Dalamuth. Chapter 6 Double Low Quote The Grand Obsessions Lord Dalamuth returned from his unfortunate gathering a bit annoyed by the fact that Mitsuki was able to defeat him so easily, he walked over to his golden throne and sitted down comma bending back, 
Sitting himself comfortable on it he observed the dark purple skies that filled this oddly looking throne room, that appeared to be set in a very desolate area, a forgotten kingdom that was in ruin. Dalamuth observed the yellow lightings being overwhelmed by the darkness of the purple skies. He was wondering and took all these imaginary into himself, as Dark Master walked over with the mute priestess. Lord Dalamuth looked at the apparition and smirked obviously enjoying his power over life and death double low quote soon it will be the time he answered Dark Master, even thought the figure was appearing to not ask anything. The area they were in was particularly interesting, as Dalamuth observed the fundaments of one splendid castle comma these fundaments still had standing walls, from the throne room Dalamuth observed the remnants of the ancient metropoli from above the hill the ancient castle or shrine was placed on what once was a majestic hill surrounded by many beautiful gardens, while now was nothing more than an eyesore, created from dead bushes and dried up creeks seven circles off dried creeks surrounded the mountain separating it from a dead metropolis which ruins seemed to fascinate the mad lord. Double low quote this desolate place will be perfect for the next phase of my great desire Dalamuth proclaimed smirking evingly obviously enjoying the sight of death and decay, he so detested. In the above the entire scene a red moon was located in deeps of the purple skies, encircling the desolate planet the moon's reddish glow was what gave the skies its deadly color. The bloody moon was making its way towards the center of the skies, as Calamuth nervously anticipated a ritual that was to begun. Magical symbols started to appear on the moon's surface, comma, in golden energy the signs of the ultimate absolute TI encased in the triangle, the sign of an everlasting force, the consciousness that exists for entire humanity, slowly transformed to the a characteristic depiction of a devil, a satire with a triangle head and a cape all drawn in a simple triangle shape. Just as, if the figure was taken out of the carnival theater, the devil was shown floating and dancing madly, he flew above the depiction of fire, that could symbolize raw energy, the life-giving force, the devil could symbolize anyone trying to tap in into that power of God. A living being that become a dark god like Lord Dalamuth would be labeled as a devil, notice the wording the devil is lived spilled backwards. Thus everybody that is a devil is in fact everyone that lived and somehow learned to use energy to make themselves alive, becoming the very thing described by our culture as the devil. Is this the root of the darkness that everybody fears? The most epical circumstances tend to be created from single ambitions, the highest tree rises from the smallest seed. Even insignificant people can create a reality of epic proportion. The moon then was covered by the burning seal of Solomon, with a triangle facing down, the fire being the force of the Jewish representation of the absolute the god named Yuhua from whom Yahweh got his name, the seal itself was given to an ancient kin named Solomon that ruled the ancient Jews in their country Israel, which literary can be translated as to a nation of God's chosen people, while the triangle faced down indicated the God's theming persona the one known as Shekbor Lillian the goddess mother, that was also horseshit by the Slavs as the Lady of the Sunday, the creator of all life from whom all religion might be formed eventually replacing the mother with the father and giving birth to religions like Roman Catholicism and Islam. In all variation the knowledge spreaded to the fairest corners of the earth, creating many spirituality-based religions like Shinto or Buddhism, but once combined, these religions tell the story, of the goddess and her horsehippers spread around the world, and of people and tribes giving rise to a new spirituality-based civilization that simply reused the teaching of the ancient tribes combining it with futuristic science, allowing people to not only travel wide distances into up-down galaxies, by means of new quantum-powered spaceships but also to transform into spiritual entities or double low quote devils and become immortal. The images on the red moon again transformed into a depiction of a bride, indicating that a cosmic wedding was to take place, the wedding being a symbol of union between both the feminine and masculine and in fact was a basic component of any ritual. Dalamuth was preparing to enter into the dark realm of feminine sexuality as the priest of the new order preparing to take over the powers of the absolute, by conducting an ancient fertility rite with the enslaved priestess, but he needed careful time in order to activate the higher realms of the universal collective. Everything was a carefully inscribed symbol, the desolate world, which symbolized the collapse of the human reality, the red moon the symbol of female sexuality or femininity, and himself as the dark groom and the priest of darkness, as the coordinator of these dark cosmic energies that were formed from individual thought patterns combined by quantum mechanics. 
The red color is the symbol of blood which is the basic substance of live and red light mean life energy controlled by the dark ambitions. The mad dance of crazy ambitions was about to begin. Dalamuth observed this spectacle, trying to memorize the ancient times, when even he himself was just a mere human being, but he wondered, whether he even was a human. This question about his true identity was always something that tormented him, these visions of the world beyond that brought him right to this place. Were they reality or fantasy? He would obsess on them, when he was just a child preparing to the morning Muslim prayers in the small Tatar community he lived. He was raised in an ancient custom in a strange land, that adopted Thayer grandfathers as rejects. This strange foreign kingdom the so-called elective monarchy, perhaps the only one of its kind to ever exist in this godly world, was populated by strange angelic-like noblemen and peasants that lived near farms, always obeying Thayer local priests. He would always wonder, why it came for him to live in such a strange land, where every little town could have its own custom. How many people came here from all over the world, rejected from their homes? He saw many of them, wondering what a bizarre land to live in such harmony, but perhaps the days of its glorious past were long gone. As the times of the golden freedom, were nothing but a passed away dream, the young Dowling was just finishing his ceremonial washing of his hands, so that he could commute with his beloved prophet in reverence. He had so many questions to him and Elach and all the saints Elach ordained, he wondered, why he was plagued by such visions, was this because of a terrible sin him or his parents committed? Since being a small child down when come a remarkable and keen intellect, he was able to understand even the most ancient teachings. But even so he couldn't not consult the elders for more advice, as his questions were often on the most bizarre subject. He could only continue his morning prayer in his bedroom, trying to face Mecca comma hoping that someday, the answers will come. That someday he will understand what path he must take to redeem his clan, for the terrible sins they committed by coming to live in this faraway unholy land, that was known, as Poland Point that was ruled by the devils in black, by the Roman Catholicism that waged a holy war, since medieval times against the servants of the Prophet Muhammadid. Islam was more than just religion it was an powerful tradition, it's even more than a written culture or culture at all, for every Muslim Islam is the world. It's not something the Christian heretics could not understand, he thought, as he was deep in the ancient prayers, yet he came to enjoy this strange land and would be worried, whether he's not committing another terrible sin against humanity and God, against Islam. He bowed his head in such reverence, as if trying by this single act to redeem not just himself but the entire nation. Point in the eyes of the prophet he thought his family and clan offended, how else could he explain these strange dark visions? If not, as torment ordained by the merciful El may glory be his, but despite being tormented he felt even more love to his eternal creator for blessing him so much, as to letting him suffer for his entire family for the entire Tatar community, that he felt betrayed al by siding with the Christian oppressor. But was this siding really, as that bad? The young Dowling had doubts, is this strange land really as that offensive to the eyes of the almighty al This land had its own unique tradition, the young Dowling found enchanting, and he prayed in reverence to al to inquire, whether he should take this path that was opening in front of him, and whether it's by these doors he will understand the truth behind his curse. In Islam doors are sacred and he often envisioned himself standing in front of such golden white, beautifully ornamented huge doors, which he pushed forward to open, revealing a golden light that engulfed everything. Then he was back on his bed, standing up from his bed and preparing himself for breakfast with his entire clan. It was a meeting of great importance, when an entire day would be planned out comma in accordance to God's wishes. Getting out of his room and making his way towards the living room. Guided by the beautifully ornamented handrail, towards the brown wooden stairs, he made his way down, to this huge red carpet where other members of his community were seated down just finishing their prayers, as he took his place, next to the other clan children, awaiting the morning meal, and the important discussion that was to take place. It all happened on a very cold day and a solemn time for the now-occupied Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth it was 23rd February of 1798, and more than a week ago the last king of this realm Stanislav August passed away in St. Petersburg, Imperial Russia. 
Times were changing and the daughters found themselves in a completely new reality, a reality the five-year-old Dalwin will face in his adulthood. Born in 1793 the year of the second partition of Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The falling realm was a home for many minorities, which now were faced with a choice of staying or moving somewhere else. Now that their home Poland was no longer in existence, that was truly an existential question would the conquerors of Poland extend the hostility the Poles welcomed them with, or will they expel these tribal people onto the deserts was a question on everybody's mind. The smells of wonderful foods filled the room, as the women of the clan were bringing the feast, today was a special day. The aromas were filling the entire room dispersing the in the air the sweet smell of fried meat and baked bread. The smell itself had a magnificent magical power to make the young Dalwin hungry for the fried foods that were slowly being brought into the room that the community was needing in. The colorful dishes were being placed in front of the young children still steaming with heat. Young Dalwin could behold the culinary art of his own world, observing the finer delicacies and wondering about the precise way the vegetables were cut and the exact time the meat was done to have such a pleasant brown color. The brown sauce covered with pieces of up now to him mushrooms, gift out an incredible aroma, its taste was exquisite and breathtaking, as the taste literally evaporated into his mouth connecting to the nerves in his tastabuds, giving a pleasant salty sensation. The forgotten art of culinary was the art of the highest civilized nations, that didn't need to rely on capitalistic wealth, but instead relied on communal welfare and communal work. These were achieved by sharing hard labor in the kitchen to prepare a meal for the community they belonged to, by dividing the task and cooperation without competition, there's no need for leaders in the world, where all tasks are shared freely. The fine-cutted lettuce and carrot, the carefully picked herbs and spices point in summertime, with Sally choose mushrooms by the men of the clan, who knew which one to harvest and which to abandon. The fine selection of alcachols was another matter, not just reserved for adults. Wine was a delicacy that Al thought in weaker capacity was also enjoyed by children of the clan, it was harvested and made thanks to Thayer effort, picking up grapes, and using Thayer legs to crush the fruits into the juice that later fermented in huge brown barrels, and would be later consumed on occasions such as these, where the entire community awaited the first days of springs. To move out to the fields to start another harvest season, a new year of abundance in terrible times of oppression. Now however all these things were still far away come it would take one and a half month, for the snow to melt into the ground and the grass sprout out from under the ice. Dalwin drank a green soup out of his bowl observing the members of his community come and noticing the members of his clan, as they were discussing about matters of trade and commerce, not much of it he understood. One of the members shone a brown tiny bag from which he took out two golden ducats and put it on the floor, showing how much he paid for some merchandise. The faces of two other members looked in horror, as if a great tragedy had fallen on them, cause the guy paid such a price for some merchandise. A face of disbelief was visible at the eldest of the group. This being the father of the two sons, that reported their misadventure to the master of the house. Dal Wing's father was sitting with the man holding his nose perplexed and patting the young boy that put out the ducats, telling the boy that all of it will be all right. The matter they talked about were border fees the Prussians had instituted for using the once Polish marketplace. The totters were a bit perplexed by this situation, as they made their livelihood out of the trade of exotic spices, which they sold to different people in Poland and to different locales owned by Jews who were always keenly interested on the good quality totter merchandise. The totter elder stood up smiling to everyone double low quote it will be all all right my children, we had totter times before, this crisis will end soon. The slatchta will definitely not sit peacefully on that, they are too proud for that and we guided by our noble prophet, may God bless him will stand ever ready to help our brothers defeat the enemy. Then soon better days will again return to this tarnished totter homeland Dal Wing's father proclaimed sitting down on his red cushion, sighting terribly and smiling towards his son. Inviting his son to come over to him, making Dal Wing put down his bowl and come over to his aged father, sitting on his lap, as the man looked around the community members, before beginning his speech double low quote Takiyachikzizni Jakichzizichalini is a Polish saying that means, the nation and its people are as strong as the our young ones are. We should not fear adversities, for we are here to deal with them in order to entrust the future of our community's survival to our children, you see these young ones are.
the seed that will grow fruits of our generation. Such is the duty of parents, to be instructors and protectors, we have a doubled responsibility to raise our children in the spirit of Alach. To teach them to understand between the right and wrong, because, if we the parents don't do that, who is to show them the right path? Who is to guide the blind ones to the path of salvation? We must teach them about our ancestors, because what is a nation that forgets its roots? Our noble protector the King Stanislaus August may God bless him, understood this truth quite well, he knew, that, if the Polish were to forget about the heroic deeds of their forefathers, then their community, as a nation would be dispersed a nation that forgets its own history becomes wild. He spoke and stopped a while, taking out a wooden pipe, which he lightened using matches. While Dowling came off his father's lap and quietly returned to his designated place. His father was smoking his dark brown pipe, producing circular smoke, that appeared every time the orange flames disappeared. Enjoying the earlier prepared tobacco leaves he took the pipe out of his mouth, cleaning it up and continuing his monologue double low quote I was thinking of something recent about, how the Slash deformed a civilized method, to protect its youth against barbarism by establishing a commission of national education. It's a truly civilized method of teaching, a community effort comma one that should be promoted among the faithful point it reminds me of the house of wisdom created by the obedient sons many centuries ago, to promote understanding and knowledge among all God people, no matter from what land they came, where the man of God could study the words of wisdom in holy texts of Quran. See my brothers and sisters how long Europe needed to evolve to get close to the wisdom and understanding the chosen ones already posses. So long it took to open the eyes that were closed to God's truth. Our God is merciful and wise and ever-knowing. It is Alach himself who guided the members of Slachta to these actions, in order to preserve the Polish nation its culture and its heroic deeds for the future generation. Poland was always the mother and the great lady was always comma watching over us comma the mother of Isa the queen of Poland will always watch over this land and its people. We should ask the mother of Isa to protect our humble people of Tatar the descendants of Lipka's Dowling's father spoke, as the Tatar community yet again started to pray, reciting the verses of the Quran about the divine power.